Jump King again. Yeah. How many more squeak streams are we gonna <laughs> oh, get, bro? No, oh no, I fell! Oh, and I keep falling! Right. Chat, we gotta go back to the It's the basis that created the art. Chat, we gotta Chat! We had to go back off the man! I don't want to give you anything. I, I wanna, hate you. I don't even want to give I it hate to you. You, you, hate you don't want to give yes, it to It's our look, weekly let's talk about why someone's late segment of the podcast. You actually came. So we had this idea that you yeah. have to eat all of your food and we don't say anything until you're done. The food being the reason you're late. And this, get, yeah. this goes to air. It took so, them. So the longer you take, this actively damages the show. Wait, stop. He's about to blame a service worker. What mm -hmm. happened? <laughs> Who, whose well, fault is it? <laughs> Which I'm person just, who works for two two ninety five an hour? I'm just not that late. You guys are being unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. The irony was that Aiden said we have to do ten thirty so Ludwig can make he, his flight. He said ten thirty sharp. Ten thirty sharp, which yeah. is the opposite of squirts. It's a right. big deal. To it's say over sharp. specifying. I will miss my flight and I will lose a huge amount of money because of it. Yeah, the and, I, and I will do layoffs. Oh, layoffs. Yeah. So Where are Otto's you on the chopping block. It's actually uh, <laughs> Otto and someone else. Shake Drizzle. <laughs> well. That's unfortunate. He'll have to go back to the check. Actually, that'd be great if I fired people and I said, hey, it's because of Aiden, but I didn't fire Aiden. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. then he has to stay in like yeah. shame yeah. prison. Sit with you. Yeah. No, I got to let you go, Shake. Uh, <laughs> you can't crush. You can't crush. You can't come crush. You're locked out of the studio. We're changing the keys. It's probably because yeah. he's so small. He's you're not so allowed to talk. Sorry, you're not even on the podcast the today. What you're is going on? on with you say, food Jake, you gotta go back to the check, and uh, good luck with everything. And you can't come back here after he goes, you know, you can't come yeah, back. Yeah, you can't come back. And you gotta come back with a check. Ooh, for well, four million dollars. But he can't. He can't. Because the government says you don't have that bread. Because DACA. They say, you've never seen ten bands in your life, shake. Yeah, shake. <laughs> and so, so, Eamon, so what we thought, what the irony is, is Aiden said, 1030 sharp. Mm. 1030 rolls around, Aiden's late. Ludwig's not even here. Mm. The guy who said, hey, everyone, <laughs> we got to be here for this guy. Both of them are gone. Yeah. It's just me and Nick freezing the celebrity in the and studio. his manager. Yeah. It's very cold in the studio. And it's, well, it's very cold in SoCal. In SoCal. In our backyard. It's pouring down and it's freezing. It's and freezing I, right now. But I'm warm. Eat faster. <laughs> Why do you think that you're cold? You're wearing <laughs> such good uh, wares. No, I'm very warm. No, it's like you've it got, affect me. Well, you've got your, your <laughs> hot shoes on that keep hot air in <laughs> the holes. <laughs> they got vents on those things. This is, like, again, <laughs> again with this is like a Minecraft no, like speedrun like when like all that. you wear is gold boots. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the piglins <laughs> hitting we're me. We're talking about shorts, guys, and I'm sure people from cold climates see it a lot more. But there's like people who only wear cargo shorts growing up in high school and stuff. And you see their red knees because yeah. it's freezing out. Oh, they're so out. red all and, the and time. Like, I'm not cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why are you wearing shorts, Zach? And it's like, oh, I, just, I don't know, wear shorts. I mean, it's not that cold. And it's like, yes, it fucking is. Why are you capping to yourself mm. with you, your red knees? You know what I'm noticing right now is that Aiden has finished his food, um, at least for now. And he also has a coffee. Coffee but bears. a coffee is not really a drink of punishment. That's true, Yes, Nick. so it's maybe not. to punish him, can I have your coffee? <laughs> no, 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 you don't need one either. <laughs> really <laughs> suck it all we've, down. we've actually prepared a punishment drink oh. um, for the lot of you. Why? What? Um, why? Why? Uh, oh, why? <laughs> Are you asking why you're being punished? Yeah. I think you're being punished because you were late and you made them sure. You were late on a sharp time. day. I just, feel like t I just feel like two minutes late is not that late. Well, it is. To them. It's not two minutes. Don't lie to people. It is. It's you can go check the chat. Minutes. It's, it's gonna say forty five. It's gonna say edited. He's setting up a bit. It's gonna say edited, and we're gonna go see it. We're gonna be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. this is for you guys, both of you. What is it? What, it? what is in it? Is it got prime in it? <sighs> this is every single juvie flavor combined, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to drink it all. And this is your caffeine for the day. I refuse to drink it as a huge lover of Red Bull. So what I'll do instead? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, okay. I've now it's power. Well, what are you Imagine doing later today? By the way, it's now every flavor of Red Bull. <laughs> 
You have to sl- you have to finish that before the show is over. Oh god, I couldn't. <laughs> Wait, how how many juvies? It must be all of them. No, but the- you didn't pour five cans. If it's all the it. flavors, it must have been like four cans split Fry. across. We have, we have secret no, we have secret cans. deep web flavors. We do. Have Why does it matter? Because full it's a cup cans. full of juvie, bro. Uh, the amount. No, I don't care about the flavor. I care about how much caffeine's in it's it. I don't want to drink eight hundred milligrams of caffeine. How much? The same amount as one cup of juvie. From oh, one can. Perfect. That's perfect. Wait, but how would it be more? Because it feels bigger. Because a solo, a I don't solo know cup how, equals a juvie cup. I don't know cup. how much can. Does, I don't know if this solo cup equals a juvie can. That's what he's trying to figure out and articulate, but he can't. I see. You're saying how many fluid ounces are in a solo cup. I'll be cup. real. Yeah. Fluid ounces, I can't visualize. Like, if you have a jar and then you have a can. I can only visualize it in ropes. <laughs> Like, R- ropes you know, of what? Do you know how many fluid ounces you <laughs> oh, in, you Come. eject? Oh. <laughs> it's ropes of juvie. How many, <laughs> how many ropes do you eject? Uh, oh, oh, how well. many fluid ounces of it's rope? A great question, Aiden. Uh, <laughs> you know, I got that ism from Scar. I think Scar said it like in some commentary thing. He's like, "It's a great question, Tove." To some, like, not great question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've kept that with me for a while. Here he goes again. Eat time. Oh, New yummy time. It's yummy time. Yum, 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 yum. He likes salmon like I'm a bear. Hungry. You're like I a know. little bear for I'm us. hungry, too, but I'm going to miss my flight. You're cold. Are you actually going to miss it? Good. I, yeah, man. I got to fly he, to freaking San Joe's. He might, he might miss his flight. And if I miss my flight, they're going to be so mad because I had him push it, and they were so upset about pushing it for the yard. Sea dog? Oh no, not to Japan. Oh, the flight? Wakarimashita. Are you going to what is somewhere? I'm going to San Jose for the Red Bull MXS. Oh, I thought you were going to Japan. I'm going to Japan. T- t- today. No, that's <laughs> not right. <laughs> this is arguably more important. Do you think Connor's wet butt for you? <laughs> what? Will, will, will be there no matter what? Does he think Connor's wet butt for me? I feel me? like you, you <laughs> thought of the phrase Connor's wet butt before you had a sentence to fit it into. Before he got here today. No, we played we played D&D earlier a uh, couple couple days ago, and I just kept talking about how wet Aiden's corpse was. <laughs> and I was like, it's kind of real. Yeah, which will make sense. <sighs> I'm not point. excited for D&D with y'all. Why? It, it's, it Dude, just, I'm electric. It feels like I am the only straight man. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Who's the other straight man? Me. No. Well, I can be a straight man. I'm, wor- I'm, wor- I'm going to be your second straight man. I'm working no, you're on not. It. I am. You, so far. I've, devel- I've developed since the last session. He's developed natural. What you talent. developed last session was a huge set of tits. Mm. And that's all did. you did. That, that session is really fun. <laughs> that was the most straight man thing I could have done. Yeah. It was the least straight man. I'm trying to take out Stone, the... Stone Beard, was I the straight man? Don't leak. <laughs> you, were, you were all together. I, and I mean this with nothing but respect. It's not because you're late I'm saying this. Yeah. You were by far the worst D&D player I've ever played with. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Because I'm rolling twos? Because... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so that's part they of it. They really hurt your abilities and your what you're able to accomplish. It, it makes you a lot weaker. It's not my fault. I'm rolling twos. I watched a D and D movie. I was pretending I was so in it. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I get that. <laughs> the Dungeons and Dragons film. Yeah, <laughs> is it about dragons and shit? It's it's a, it's about like I think <laughs> a Dungeons campaign. It's very light references to D and D. That like, is it about human beings in the normal world, or is it about fucking people fighting with axes? It's like a made up world. It's like a made up world with a band of thieves that all have to break it's out. It's in the fantasy world. Okay, but it doesn't go back to a bunch of c- at a table. No. Okay, no. got it. No, it's all living in its own. And then Daniel. The, yeah, then it goes to the goon the, squad. The, the goon goon just leading it. And he's like, oh, guys, you got to roll a natural 20. Oh, I roll a natural 20. Oh, my God. You got to roll a natural 20 to get out yeah, of this Yeah, they cave. didn't want to, like, make people who play D&D yeah, look like, like losers. What if we played Gooners and Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so one of us, like, jerks off at the table? Not just one of us. <laughs> oh, everybody. So there's no dungeons? Well, no. <laughs> so it's, it's just, just, it's just different Gooners, types of guys. It's Gooners v. Dragons. <laughs> oh, they're versus you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Casper's yeah. dogs. Yeah, yeah, because mm. you're never a dragon in the game, right? So you're a gooner. You mm. you could be. You Don't, could be a gooning dragon. Do you know what a goon is in Oz? Oh uh, yeah, it's like a football club no, member. It's a sack of wine. It is a sack of wine. Oh the goon sack, right? Yeah. The goon sack. <laughs> oh god. Goon sack. Yeah. What's that filled with? <laughs> <laughs> hey, slap the goon sack. How many fluid ounces are in there? Yeah. There was a fun post. It was like on the Australian goon subreddit for goon sack wine. Yeah. And they were like, I am so Fucking sick of this goon meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because they just want to enjoy a good old. They want a, a bag slap. And I feel like you had something to do with this. Me? I don't know. Absolutely not. 
Yeah, that's the goon sack. It's bulging. That's what uh, it's Mario Party League. <laughs> it is bulging. You don't have this, to say that. It's just full of liquid. But it is. It's f- Eight I don't, inventive it's things to do with your goon sack. It is full of liquid. <laughs> that's a fucking funny title for a listicle. You could take out one word in any part of that sentence and it's still funny. Yeah, it's like Billie Jean, but j- for a comedy. I just heard a submarine ding. That's, yeah? That's Daniel. Is it? Yeah, like yeah building the submarine. The submarine. <laughs> <laughs> the submarine. Is there a submersible business? We'll be doing a, a live podcast in the Mariana Trench, <laughs> and then we implode like those billionaires. <laughs> it's not good. I don't want to do that. Ooh. Yeah, no one wanted to. Yeah. But how, would we get the, how would we get the tape out, Slim? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't. Uh, it'd be What's fun. your controller of choice if you're in that damn submarine? If I'm trying to control that shit? Yeah, I'm probably... Mouse and key, obviously. No. <laughs> no shot. Mm, You're like, guys, I can only go diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's in it, we're like... <laughs> oh, Send too high. Send too high. You <laughs> definitely want analog. No, counter-strafing yeah. the, the belugas, bro? Give me a Wiimote. Wiimote? With, with no with, No, no, with the, with the Mario Kart <laughs> steering wheel. No, no, yeah. you need... I, I want a Wiimote, but with the Wii Motion Plus add-on, uh-huh. yeah. so yep. it's a little more accurate. Yep. And the Resident Evil chainsaw. And then a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you have a lighter guy. You need two, li- you need two of them, right? <laughs> no, you need one. You one see you light a lighter in a submarine? Is there anything crazy going on with that? I think wow. there's... Oh, it'll take up some question One ask, recently exploded, so I got questions. You could do it, but it'd be very bad because it'd take up your oxygen supply. Yeah, fire take... Yes. Wow. That's oh. a good point. And I am you, fucking smart. You made fun of me yeah, because for asking good questions. It's not a good question. Do you think everyone just knew that? I... Hey, sound off. Well, if you <laughs> think Dr. Mario is, is an actual doctor being dumb... Cigarettes are the... Only open flame allowed on most submarines. It'd be crazy. That's crazy. To light yeah, that's up, but beast. This is some nice <laughs> just well shit. The the only reason they allow that is because everybody in the military must have been so addicted to cigarettes. That is great like, news for just, Aiden. There's definitely a general who's like, well, we can't. We're not banning cigarettes. Yeah, I watched Aiden Phantom puff a cigarette eleven times last night. What? You're phantom puffing? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there in a circle of people watching him. Tell him how he doesn't know how to smoke cigarettes, and he's like. <laughs> He's Wu Tang. I don't. I don't wait, wait, you're, you're talking about this? <laughs> no. I don't understand. He, he keeps going. I don't know how to do it. I'm sucking in the smoke. You put it in your lungs deep, and you harbor it there. God, for what? Years. If you smoke cigarettes, you'd smoke some like obscure. I hacked. Like, German oh, brand. I hacked like my my smoke addicted grandmother in front of Zipper. Yeah, in yeah. the driveway. Yeah, yeah, I can't smoke a cigarette. If I put it into my lungs, I will instantly start coughing. That happened to my friend growing up in high school. He like he he like rolled his like sleeves down. He's like taking his first drag of a cigarette around campfire. There's like girls there and shit. And he <laughs> thought he was gonna fucking nail it. And he just starts hacking. Oh. And it's like, yeah, like your little lungs couldn't take it. He was extremely embarrassed. If they go sleeves first for a cigarette, I think that's about to happen. Yeah, it I'm was really certain. funny. I don't want to pretend I'm like higher and mightier than people in the past, but I feel like if I huffed a cigarette and I started coughing violently, I'd be like, not good for you. And I wouldn't fall for the, you gotta use this to feel better. Use what? That dog cigarettes. Oh, you're talking about back I don't then. Think, yeah. I don't think people... If oh, I, I see. Way back. back th- yes. I think I meant like in high school. No, 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 no. Like way back in the 20s when they prescribed them. I'd be like, this isn't good for you, when doc. They, I know this. Yeah, this is good for your throat. <laughs> it cures the disease Well, in I your feel throat. like back then you'd be like, oh, oh, that's new. I don't know what that... They weren't coughing yet. <laughs> they were <laughs> They had like the, no, they didn't cough. the black lung. No, this was like... Well, black lung just killed you. There's no coughing. You just... <laughs> You think no one coughed until like the nineties? <laughs> until Marlboro invented coughing, <laughs> and then and, and then, then, they baby. Started, then they started it's the like, trope in movies. It's like how De Beers invented diamond rings yeah. for engagements. This <laughs> is Darwinism. We 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 started smoking Marlboro cigarettes, and then we passed coughing down to babies, and we created ultimate weapons. Two thousand BC, they were chief in that shit, dude. Yeah, we all knew That's what like we were doing. That's like almost as old as go. They must have just been like smoking any plant. <laughs> the, the Rick and Morticus uh, <laughs> weed pipe. <laughs> the cave paintings of a big pipe. <laughs> well, they used to like chew on coca leaves and shit too, bro. To stay up. They're crazy. During the, the rituals. We were at the gala last night. Bala. Uh, <laughs> Shot gala. And they had uh, two presentations. And I don't know if you were mind blown. But they're like twenty five percent of all pharmaceutical ingredients are found in the rainforest. Yeah, and I was like, "How plants. the fuck are we just harvesting plants and that's, making that a drug?" That's how it works. I know. <laughs> okay. What else do we what do? You got? Mean, how the I fuck don't know. we do chemical, that? Chemical, man, chemical. How, how we make chemical? Yeah, there's chemical you just in the plant. Do it. It's all synthesized. 
You just take DNA and you swap a couple numbers, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I can teach you a thing or two about swapping DNA. Does that mean you want to make out? <laughs> it means you want to exchange fluids with you. <laughs> How many fluid answers do you think God, you got in your I mouth right now? Fucking fill you and pop you like the blueberry in Willy Wonka. I like wouldn't a, stop. Like I wouldn't stop. Willy Wonka's gay chocolate factory. Yeah. And he's just fucking twinks and nonstop. He's pumping him you full. Wanna, you want to pump me up like Inflation Yoshi? I would. Inf yes. <laughs> that was what Hassan was playing last night. Inflation Yoshi. Gay Yoshi's. Willy Wonka. Oh, yeah. Because he was harvesting all the twinks. Look, they, do, they do play gay chicken a little <laughs> too much. Making what? Chocolate. At least, you know, actually, they have a full gay on their squad. That actually trumps us so they hard. They do. Austin? They do. No, yeah. Fear and. Well, yeah. yeah Austin, Austin is the gay. They have the full gay. Is it? We have, a, we have a day walker. They have a gay and a woman. He, I know. And what do we got? <laughs> we have a half three, gay and Three and a woman. half men. <laughs> hey. New TBS comedy. Yup. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I can be straight. Yeah. <laughs> you actually better. Oh, no, no. no, it's straight Aiden. When Dylan, when Dylan comes around, bro. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. Aiden's straight, this becomes fresh and fit. <laughs> it's funny. I want a straight Aiden to be Austin, but we already know a gay Austin. So yeah, it can't be. It's like uh, Alan. So, yo, Dylan, what do you do? What you do this weekend, bro? Uh, me and Ashley fucking <laughs> mostly made out. Mostly that's, made out, dude, but dude, she's hot as fuck. Dude, that's your tight, girlfriend's bro. hot as fuck to us. Your girlfriend's <laughs> hot as fuck, dude. <laughs> We Dylan, think your girlfriend's really hot. I fucking know. Stop talking about her. <laughs> Dylan. Did you bring a fucking thirty or what, bro? Yeah. Like we're trying to get drunk. Fucking <laughs> start every morning with that. Oh shit! Oh, it's a little right. early. Hey, wait, but... hold on, Tyler, bro. Like, yeah. you sure you want to do this? Like, my mom's gonna pick us up in like ten minutes. Bro, I'm talking about his mom, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. dude, your mom's got dude, fucking huge tits. Fuck. Bro, I'm talking about his own mom. By the way, she's fucking hot as fuck. Huge tits. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, she's hot as fuck. What's this guy doing around here? Again? <laughs> Why are we pretending to be straight guys? We're just straight guys. Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cool, Dylan. Ashley's so hot. Can too. I wear one of your boots? Right now? I just want to try it. No. Well, I went to the gala as well. So much for improv. Yes, ending, nothing. I was next to Dubby. <laughs> you, you have to take it off his foot. Try to pull it off. I can't take it off easily. Ow! You, chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, From the lower part, you pull, dum dum. You didn't give me the instruction manual. It's a foot. It's a foot. <laughs> Get it to him. Do it nicely. Okay. <laughs> There's been a few like, feats in there. It smells, it smells like a cutting board. Wait, do you go shoes off? Uh, yeah, you can't put a shoe in there, I bro. I thought people were wearing shoes in these the whole time. No. God, I that bad. You, sometimes, man, you just not... have a day where it's like, are you fucking kidding? Did you I'm, did you, I'm Spongebob. Did you drive? <laughs> uh, for anyone who's audio listener, I'm wearing the Crocs that, that Sora from Kingdom Hearts himself wore. Yeah. They are huge. Zipper, can you get us a skateboard? This is what he if wears wanna, when he when he hangs out, just not fighting the darkness. You could look up oh. Mischief Yellow Crocs. I was showing Ludwig, because these are the... Mischief is the company that made those big red boots that were popping yeah, off for a yeah. while. And I was showing Ludwig the, the skate video where they're hitting uh, huge jumps in the Mischief oh red boots God. on a skateboard. Yeah. It is insane. That's, it's kind of nasty. You wear these on, like, your ankles. You don't even wear them on your foot. Like, like it's like... I don't feel the shoe here, and I don't feel it here. I only feel it here. Yeah. yeah. Is it hard to walk? <sighs> it ain't easy. I, I'm telling you, I could not beat most people in a mile run. Well, with all the swagger I got. What's the fastest you could run a mile in these, you think? I could dust you. So what's your mile time right now? Yeah. It's post-mile time. Four, 431. Post-mile post mile time contemporary. You, mm -hmm. Bro, you're, bu you're busting out like an eight- Four twenty nine. It's like a real. It's like a world record, like type guy. It is, it is very fast. It's not like, world record, but it's very fast. It's not that fast. You'd crush for like, like an a, under five minute mile. Are yeah. you insane? You'd crush for like a ninth no. grader. I just we, have what it takes, dude. <laughs> the zipper just gave, zipper you gave me a cigarette. It's probably really cool. That's dope. Oh, wait, the other one? Can I smoke it? You're trying to. <laughs> he wants to wear both. Let him wear both. Oh, You're going away yes, for a while. But he's annoying me. I want you to know this. Oh. Because I liked having shoes on, and it is cold, bears, and it's cold, and you're gonna scuff up my shit. No, stop eating! What are you doing? This is the this is this is madness. This is Nick's selfish. He looks really cool. Fuck, you should start smoking, dude. Oh my god, holding a holding an unlit cigarette in your mouth. Okay, can he ollie? Oh, it's awful. Let's go. He's trying to ollie in the big boot, dude. Can you get We're your We're watching Nick already? stand on the skateboard in the boots right now. Here we go. 
Okay. Oh! He left the ground. The back wheel got up. He left yeah. the ground. Yeah. You gotta slide your back foot up. We also found out Nick pushes Mongo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. No, I fixed it. He fixed it, but he used to. I well, used to, yeah. Which is kind of fucked up. Pop up. Um. Did I learned a razor scooter before. Wait, you want your shoes? Yeah. That's. <laughs> I don't know. Trade cool. shoes. Look kind of cool on me. Yeah. Swag Jack Nick back at it again. Dude, I was at the <laughs> we're at the gala and we learned that one uh. One, what was it? Two dollars saves one acre of rainforest, right? Yeah, that just but, can't be true. But two dollars also gets you a fucking blunt and a swish, mm, which also no saves my brain forest. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> it saves yeah. his brain forest, a, right? And so, but me and Sands were talking, and it's like, what if, what if we instead of acres, because no one really fucking knows what that means, we just measure shit in dust twos. <laughs> like <laughs> real world dust twos? Yeah, like the dust two map from Counter. <laughs> I don't know what the scale of dust two is either. Oh, is, oh no, you do. How far I have more than an acre. How I think walk is a seven eleven. It's like it's like A to mid doors. Or... Yeah, right. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. I do think you're on to something with the fact that acres are kind of an outdated term. We need or, or like a, everyone's like a soccer field. It's like right? it's like this is well, yeah, football field's common, but like this is a Walmart. It's a wa <laughs> well, there's different size Walmart. Like this is your average target. I like the idea of we adopt the dust two metric system, right? For for area estimation, it would probably be closer to Europeans too. You could, probably... you could walk like from one end to the other end of dust two pretty fast in the game. So like dust two is like the size of like our warehouse, yeah, or but... everyone in Counter Strike runs really fast. Dude, can Mister Beast make a dust two map? Yeah, and then f we fight in it. For I don't, us? Oh. I don't think do it, it as a favor. Financially... He makes dust two. And we do while. paintball with GoPros on guns, and we play a real Counter Strike. No, that is. I feel like he would do it bigger. We shoot with real guns. Dust. Oh. Oh, so I he would hire real terrorists. A group of terrorists <laughs> and prisoners <laughs> and SAS members. He was getting. You saw he getting a bit of traction, bit of heat because of his tweet. Oh, the would you would you stay in this, this room? Week? His new experiment. He skate. He's got a new experiment that he Arriving. dropped, and it was like, uh, how long would you stay in this room? Thinking emoji. I don't think it's actually it. But no, no. It was if you stay in this. Would you stay in this room with someone else for a hundred days for five hundred grand? With a stranger. Yeah. And it's yeah, like a stranger. It's yeah. like a big Which open is a movie. room. Uh, is it? Yeah, isn't it? It's like a movie. It's two people. There's a button. They're in a room together. I don't know. You're not I thinking of the platform. No, I, don't I was also thinking I'm of the I'm not thinking of the platform. Is Zipper, it? can you look at movie two people in a room, stranger, button? Big sexual stuff <laughs> happens. Big American. <laughs> big energy. Big sit and you kiss man. All right. Drake, Drake liberating Holocaust <laughs> camp. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-journey AI. Blood coming down from the walls. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, he was getting some smoke for I think it's because as soon as you introduce another person into this dynamic, it feels a little more psychological torture-y. Yeah, I think people relate that or like think of that. I think maybe it's his theming though because he also has like fucking white room and shit but like i watched survivor that shit the same thing survivor's kind of fucked up no survivors uh, in the outside in the wild where we came from when we were beasts yeah, i feel like there's yeah. people replying to that mad who haven't left their room in 100 days real shit that's what i'm saying why you why you why you got a necklace why you got a necklace why, why are you still in, logged in on steam but invisible we all know you're still we playing. all know zeke we yeah. all know that you're there zeke zeke Zeke, we all know that you're logged in on Steam. How about you appear online, Zeke? Or go to a dancing class with me, Zeke. Hi, Zeke. Pussy boy. Okay, Zeke. We'll it was nice Zeke. seeing you last night, Zeke. <laughs> uh, I didn't see his dumb ass. <laughs> Aiden, I want to I wanna feed you. Yeah. And I want to feed you until I've fed you too much. Yeah. And I want it to be hard for you to be you because of how much you've eaten. Is it, would, it be, would it be easy to make, like, what you're feeding me? Perhaps pre-portioned? Well, I mean, I mean, it would be it would be exciting. It, could, it would be quick, easy, Great. and fit and wholesome. But the thing is, you wouldn't be fit if we fed you. You would be far from it because you'd be able to sloshing around in your big belly. I'd be a hulking beast. No, you wouldn't be hulking. You're just midsection. We'd be swollen like a berry. And it would be wholesome. But you know what it wouldn't be is some of your holes not being filled <laughs> because I'm gonna put all so much food inside of you. That you're gonna be all plugged up. And if full you didn't figure it out by now, our sponsor is HelloFresh. Isn't that cool? Hey, HelloFresh! Take over, your pick. over forty <laughs> recipes to choose from every week, or you could be like me, where the box that it comes in is just filled edge to edge with one block of tofu, which yeah. is an option that you just take a bite out of. <laughs> the, yeah, and I just take a few bites out of every day. You and scoop it, gets, it. If you you have to time it right, because if you hold it too long, it does get a little moldy. Yeah, and that's the HelloFresh guarantee. Is that it will never. But 
but is that it, it will it, it won't actually, won't actually get moldy <laughs> unless <laughs> you and look if, you, if you're Aiden and you don't know how to count or read it's easy because everything becomes uh, pre-portioned and you just go dump in I'm putting all it in pre-portioned because it's just one big block that is the portion that it comes in that I like it the best. That's right. And the thing about HelloFresh's box is that the tofu juice never soaks through. So, yeah. Never. never. Box, sealed box, tofu juice just kind of accumulates on the bottom. Because it's insulated and there's ice in there. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Isn't that nice, Aiden? And it ice, reminds us of the dry tofu. ice that they would use at the supermarket when and, you bought popsicles sometimes. And, and they do have 39 plus other options, but I'm, I'm mostly locked into the tofu You thing. really do like it. One time he put his whole head in there and he made like a man-shaped face mask. And he said, I'm Marshmallow the Rapper. <laughs> uh, and it and If you want to have a, some rappers, uh, I C- don't know. Come to your house. Go, go to my house. And if not, go to HelloFresh.com <laughs> slash 50 of the yard. That's 5 the yard. Shut up. 5 the yard. 5 the yard. And that's 50% off plus free shipping. Say you're like me. You, still, you saw Marshmallow in Fortnite and you really wanted to take a, take a little bite. Yeah, and then HelloFresh is for you. Yeah, it is for you if you're like that. And in Canada, they call marshmallows didgeridoos. <laughs> right? Isn't that right, Aiden? That's HelloFresh.com slash fifty the yard five zero the yard and use code fifty the yard. Mm-hmm. America's number one meal kit and a number and America's number one filled up boy for us. For us. Oh my God, you're like a raspberry. <laughs> uh, hey, listen to the yard now. Bye. Because nice. you're the Gala. Me and Lodder are at the Dala. We're at the Dala. General. We're you, at the Gala General. And my girlfriend <laughs> bought you. Your girlfriend. I, why did she buy me? I don't. She came over the top of a, a five thousand dollar bid with two K. Yeah. She didn't need to do that. She could have gone one K. Yeah. She bought me immediately for seven grand, which seven grand goes to the the rainforest the, like charity. Yeah. So that's a few acres. It's a it's a couple dust twos. Now yeah. she gets your body. And she gets my body for a night. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know what to tell <laughs> you. She can do <laughs> whatever market. she can do whatever she Ooh, wants. She's, she's merely sit. the product. What if she sets up a fight between us? Ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> I get her? to sleep you in front of your girlfriend? <laughs> well, you wouldn't sleep. I sleep like the fucking hypnotist, dude. I pull your arm. <laughs> what down. happened with this hypnotist? I didn't see this, but I heard everyone talking Bro, about he it. He was ri- <laughs> he was clearly a hit with people who are like 45 on a cruise ship. Yeah, crushes at like conferences. Like mm. he he makes the the men in the audience like do ballet, and a forty five year old boomer is like, oh no, that that's weird. <laughs> Cutie just wanted some <laughs> entertainment, and I think her exact words is she wanted a make you look like a chicken hypnotist, not a uh, change your life motivational hypnotist. Well, that's what yeah, we yeah, kind of yeah. got the latter, or excuse me, the the the, the former, former masked as the latter. Because oh. he, was, he was kind of like a cluck like a chicken, but he, he was, his whole speech was like, I can change your life. He has to. You got to unlock your mind castle. <laughs> uh, Open more doors. All right, Americans yeah, he, line yeah. up. He was also a European guy. He's like, all right, when you, do, when you look inside your mind and I hypnotize you. Right? <laughs> that's what European guys That's a European guy. Like. No, I've been here. That's, don't listen to them. That's yeah, that's what they sound like. Uh, look inside the circle. Now you'll find yourself. <laughs> I really wanted to do it. Like, I wanted to get hypnotized. In the banana outfit? Like, I wanted to fall into some trance, yeah. yeah. It's hard. I, it was hard, because every time I would kind of feel anything at all, I'd be like, eyes closed, and be like, now, look at your palm. Stare in your palm, it's getting heavier. I worked with the Celtics, the Lakers, the New England <laughs> yeah, Patriots. Dude, was, you might have seen me on TV. Wait, dead ass? Yeah. 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 Like, he was, like, <laughs> plugging his, like... Which was smart of him. He also has hypnotist.com. Yes. Which is a what? fucking crazy So how am I supposed to say in the zone? Is that how like, cutie found like, him? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it was pretty lame. I, also, what was crazy is that the chat was on a giant big screen behind him. Oh my god. <laughs> he, could, he could clearly see, but maybe he, he either had the iron will or he didn't know. I don't think he knew how to read chat Dude, well. Your, your boots are... Like read a fast flowing or English. It takes a bit of skill he, to read a fast Did he do any chat. of the like call to action things where like after they were done being hypnotized he'd say like a word and they'd do something? No. He, he did shit like alright now you're gonna stand up and dance like a ballerina. You are a ballerina now. You're doing a spinny dance move. You're a ballerina. And then they it, you know it was everyone up there is a streamer. It's like myth and seer. Yeah it's theater kid yes. like mecca. Oh my god. It's theater kids and instantly they're like get up and they're like they get up they throw the chair <laughs> and they're like I'm a ballerina. <laughs> Uh, I do wonder how this this works on, you know, your average cruise ship, you know, like Aiden's mom. I think what happens in hypnotist shows is everybody up there 
feels compelled to commit to the bit. So, and maybe a couple people get hypnotized for real, maybe, but no one here did. I think getting hypnotized for real is is more common than you think. Uh, I watched a ton of these shows because there was this fair in our county. <laughs> it's called the Whatcom County State or County Fair. He was brave and for every, going to this. Every year, every year, this is a safe space. They, they would bring the this one uh, hypnotist onto the fairgrounds, and she would perform. It was like the biggest, the biggest thing that would happen at the fair. <laughs> Kill yourself. This is what like to be me. <laughs> oh man, guys, guys, come on. We gotta go to the f- That's exactly what he's like. Leave your funnel cake behind. <laughs> Christina <laughs> Angel's gonna be there. She's gonna hypnotize everyone. I wanna yeah. get some fried dough. <laughs> we can't miss this. And, t- and teenage, really fucking high on edibles, Eamon, would go with his, his, with his That's friends beast. to the hypnotist show. It's probably like going to actual church for like religious people. Yeah, yeah but going off high off is gummy? like, it's no, like going off to. Gu- Oh, sure. Yeah, off a of gummy, you're like, wow, God is real and he's here with us. But she'd pull, she'd pull people that were not actually hypnotized. Like, some people would try to play into it, uh, like, basically try to pretend that they're hypnotized. And right. usually, like, of the eight people she's pulling on stage, probably, like, two to three of them every time have to get pulled off because they're not actually, like, falling asleep, basically. Right. Oh. And uh, yeah, the sure other that- thing is some people fall asleep so hard like some people get so into the mode that when she act, like they have like very little motion or reaction, they just fall asleep on stage and then they can't get them to do anything. And then she just let them sleep through the performance while like the other seven people did. Uh, you saw this shit happen. Yeah, I saw this a ton. You, you That's believe I watched the show more than 10 times. And then the, 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 beast, call to, the call to action thing. Same episode. This is extremely The call to action thing she would do is while they're hypnotized, she'd be like, when I say this word, you will do this thing later on. And then the hypnotism would end. Everybody wakes up, right? And then later on in the show, she, <laughs> she would says, do. She says, kill the prime minister of Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> she'd she'd say the up. key word, like uh, something random, like wheels, whatever she had drawn the association with. And then the person would get up, having not been hypnotized anymore, but they would have the urge to do some sort of action. Wow. And, uh, and this would happen. And, and the person like does the thing, but then can't. They're like, and then they like lock in place. Like, why did I do that? Whoa, um, did you mean? I don't know. I don't know what, uh, I don't know if I've said this in the pod before, but in my, in my senior night for high school, there was a hypnotist and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in high school. I'm edgy. I'm like, fuck all this. It's not real. It's not real. I it's not real shit. I, I want to go play Grand Theft Auto now. Yeah. I want to go play GTA four and do the swing set glitch. Uh, so I'm watching it. And my friend Riley goes up who I'm like, well, if he gets hypnotized, I believe it because he won't fuck around. He'll just hold us be up there and. Be like, I'm not asleep. Uh, he gets hypnotized and he falls asleep and he wakes up and they're making him do all this shit. And he was dancing around and he was like being all weird. And I was like, this is crazy. I kind of believe this now. Uh, and then after uh, senior night, because senior night ends at like 4 a.m. Like it's like goes all night. And yeah, it's like a lock in. And you're not allowed to leave. Like, like they take you in a bus to like this forest. <laughs> and, then, and then there's like a, what the they fuck? built like a mini carnival in like y- this y- forest. Y'all had weird places you grew up. I went to a county fair. Weird. <laughs> While Nick is explaining this, Zipper, can you search up that shooting game that happens at a carnival? I know you know what I'm talking about. Uh, like the arcade shooter, the the light light gun shooter. I remember this one. Um, anyway, regardless, long story short, uh, we found out that Riley, after he was hypnotized, he drove to San Francisco. You did tell immediately us this. Immediately yeah, at 4 a.m. This. He drove all the way there and doesn't know why he did it. And he slept there for a night and then he drove back. <laughs> Was, was he different the, the forever? Just said drive to San Francisco. I, don't know, I haven't talked Rob to him. the bank. Yeah. I haven't talked to him since that day. No <laughs> really? way. Yeah, I haven't seen him since there. Do you think he's alive? Uh, I'm almost certain he's alive. That's almost Do you think certain. he's still hypnotized? It's like 51st <laughs> yeah. dates, but every day he drives like to San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and he just uh, rushes out the door. You can activate him like a sleeper agent. Yeah, so I've, I've always not believed hypnotism was real, but now I'm like skeptical the rest of my life because of that moment. <laughs> We it's, we didn't know the, 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 what I said. I tweeted out while it was happening. One, the guy was thirty five percent chance he was the Dracula flow guy. But two, <laughs> I do think that was devastating for the hypnosis community was that man's display. Oh, I, I just think like a, 
A it, hypnotist yeah. needs to kind of look like they just like work at Barnes and Noble. They all look like they're magicians, mm-hmm. and that's what fucks me up. Yeah, the bro wore a, wore a fedora, and it's like we don't need to do this. No, no, you could just look like like a normal dude. He looks he, like a dude on I think you should leave. I, I think, yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> I think hypnotism. Yeah, I don't know, fucking hypnotize fucking balls and. Cu- that is not it. What the hell? What, what the game? fuck is that? that? Hold up. And so all the candles are lights, and you have to shoot out the, the candle lights with your beow, fake gun. Beow. Oh, water. I no, think... not. It's it's an arcade game. I don't zipper. know what you're talking about. It's like about a either. horror Nobody game. Does, I don't know what you're talking about. Pops. Yeah, I know, because only Zipper would, because he's ancient. Uh. He's an ancient Zipper who knows he's all history. Ancient <laughs> wisdom. <laughs> he was there when the first pipe got made. I, I remember that. Me and him do. Uh, oh, by the way, actually, it's going to be too late. It'll already Shut be sold. Shut up! I'm curious what your thing is selling for. Thing? Your wig. Oh, yeah. If, like, if you're hearing this now, the Tony Starr uh, hairpiece will be sold by oh. now. But it was doing actually pretty poorly. I was kind of upset. Why? Really? Because oh, I was why like... Why wouldn't anybody want why that? Want it hair? looks very pathetic. Zipper, can you pull up the... The Tiltify page. I, I, if you go on Cutie's channel, it can find a link for it. But yeah, there's these items up for auction. You pay for them, you receive them, and the money goes to the charity. Uh, and I put up Tony Starr's hairpiece. It was the last thing recovered after the <laughs> fireball. And uh, mm-hmm. no one seems to want it that bad. That is shocking. That's so weird. That they don't I want know. The well, it's his real hair. Yeah. It just somehow survived. <laughs> it's his real <laughs> hair. <laughs> it's Tony, Tony Starr did not have a hairpiece, right? That would be gross. I didn't even say hairpiece. You said hairpiece. <laughs> you said <laughs> hair <laughs> system. You said hair system. All of you. I mean, I hated Tony Starr, so I don't give a fuck. He can rot in hell. He uh, is rotting in hell. I'm, I'm worried my item's going to go for less than what I bought it for. <laughs> What's your item? It's the Ocarina of Time 85 New Mint Plus sealed box. No, the the collectibles you bought during COVID. Maybe it's because you, you wrote boom. on it. Huh? Maybe it's because you signed it. And you just alcohol wipe. No. What do you mean, though? <laughs> you can yeah, wipe alcohol. it off. You did mention that when you, drink you I also mentioned presented it. it. But maybe, maybe they don't like the fact that Ludwig signed it. Yeah, here's the Gala oh, for good. God, How much did you buy it for? I bought it for 5K. Okay, 3500 is not bad. You could have just given 5k to the rainforest. I really feel like I did do that. That hair is so... Wait, 395 Yeah, it only went up like $40. Wait, but that's really good. I, I don't fun. think it is. I think it's fine. It looks, I, I thought it meant more. It looks like a rat pelt. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> disgusting, bro. You're psychotic for thinking it would go for more than Wait, that. Wait, can you scroll down to the Golden Kappa? This is what I'm buying. Oh, fuck! You described in detail how disgusting it smelled. The no, I washed it. It smells like shampoo now. I have oh. to beat this bit out. So, what does the golden kappa do? It's a thing on Twitch. One person every day gets given the golden kappa, and if you type in kappa, it'll become a golden version of yeah. it. Yeah, only one on the whole website. Yeah, and it's super rare to find. And like, occasionally, I think people just miss the day that they. Do get you know it. that you have it? You have to type kappa to figure you out. You don't get like an email like you have it. Today. I don't think so. That's crazy. Not, and I don't know if it's actually like one person a day or if it's like. Hey, they do warn, but all I know, it's very rare, and there's a lot of channels that do Golden Kappa checks, but this is the first time they've ever sold it, and you can just outright buy it for a year of use. Do, which they, is have, uh, do they have the Golden Kipo? <laughs> Amy, I would do anything for Golden Kipo. We love Kipo in this house. Golden Kipo check. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, what's wrong? You haven't touched your all juvies flavor. <laughs> yeah, I'm halfway uh, done with mine. <laughs> oh, God, I respect that. What's if he like? finishes his, he houses you. I don't know what it tastes like, but it tastes great. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, fucked it's up. It's just sugar, right? Like it's just No, it's a no, it's sugar-free. It's a sugar-free br- drink. It's just aspartame and sucralose. Well, don't roll your eyes and then say <laughs> sugar alternatives like they're the same. And don't sneak salmon when we're not looking. I know. Did you see that? That was disrespectful. Yeah, oh, my God. You pulled out a pocket salmon. Like, I'm not going to heat check him for that. That was pocket the fastest salmon. shit I've ever you seen. You like pocket salmon? I do like pocket salmon, but, like, not at the gas station, bro. Mm. Like, I don't know. He had that heat on him. I can't lie. I'm missing the yard next week. Oh, my God. Who care? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait you are really? Because you're going to be in Nippon oh, Desk. He's going to be in Wapan. No, we'll just come with you again, and we'll do it again, and we'll go again. Don't pick in your pocket. Hey, does Connor have 
three more spots in the RV. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, he does. He does. Yeah, I'll uh, message him. I'll message him. Okay. I'll ask Connor and make him say no. I'll message him online. <laughs> Yo, can you hitch us on a trailer behind you? Ooh. Wait, what if we just sketch the whole way? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> you guys have the sickest combo at the end, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, we have so many points. We have dude. so many points. What's the concept? What it, are you doing? He does this RV thing where he gets in a he gets a damn RV, gets a bunch of boys in it, damn yeah. and then he drives a location and does challenge do, at location. Do you think that's problematic? Because it's a bit of a boys club. It, no, because I don't think it's mm. meant to. It's just the second if, iteration. Interesting. You, boys? you don't think it's a problem. Go to the strip clubs. What if? Well, <laughs> no one wants to be a woman trapped in an RV. They've done RV what, trips with men and tracked? women, and it was with Ice Poseidon in 2016, <laughs> and it didn't go well, Aiden. It didn't go well. You see that guy that dumped that cup of poop on Ice Poseidon? No. <laughs> this happened recently. I don't want that's to. Like the, that's like the 29th worst thing to happen to that guy. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't even crack the, the Watch Mojo video. <laughs> Last month. Some guy, some guy ran up on him and poured what seems to be a cup of poop water on his head. That's, and then he, the guy ran away, and then they chased him down and put him in a headlock and then got him arrested. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, some people live different lives. Yeah. Do you the only one wish cool that's happening is ice. Do you ever wish you <laughs> had cultivated a community like that instead? No. no. You Are you don't? sure? Yeah, but it would bring a little pizzazz to your stream. <laughs> you I don't think I need pizzazz. You're yeah, short bro. on pizzazz. Oh, How many more Jump King again. Yeah, How many more squeak <laughs> streams are we going to oh, get, bro? No, oh, no, I fell. Oh, and I keep oh, falling. Right. Chat, we got to go back. Chat, <laughs> it's the basis that created the art. Chat, we got it. Chat, we had to go back up. Chat, it's the hardest game in X Asian country. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're talking about repetitiveness. We're on the 117th episode of The Yard, where this guy and goes, Dame, Dame, we are Dame, new. Dame. Every I haven't time. We have a 10 minute late segment at the start. Oh, whose fault is that, Damon? You were also late, bitch. No, wrong. How late was he? What I, time did he arrive? No, you cannot minutes. be late if you're the third party member there. You're, no, you are late. When the time says come here, you don't come at the time. No. Yes! If I know Aiden is going to be 10 minutes late, it's chill to be 9 minutes late. You're, you know, sa you're saying that it doesn't matter that you're eating meat because he eats more meat. No, and I'm we're two vegans. I'm saying that Wait, that's the prerequisite to begin the quest is all four members are here. So if you're the third member to arrive, oh, instantly I, all blame is shifted to the fourth member. I did announce that I would be late. So because he's arriving within the scope of that information, he's correct. Don't I let them agree with each other. I understand, and I, I, you are in. You guys are invested in each other being right because you have done a wrong thing. Uh, At the end of the day, we showed up on time. He has done evil. I why, true. He's done, done, done evil to evil? us. I think that here. You know what? I think your streams are good. That is dumb. Oh, slime can't trust box anymore. I think that if you let your fans pour poop water on you, you'd be more interesting. That's what I think. It's not worth it. <sighs> That's the thing. Dubbin got rich, and he has these big old fucking weird Crocs because... I want to see rock climbing them. And he didn't have to do it that, did you, that did way. Did you have to buy these, or are these through your Crocs? Oh, I had to buy them. They cost four fifty. I got them secondhand market. That's crazy that Crocs didn't fucking throw you a bone. They didn't juice me up. That's okay. Mm. Yeah, they didn't hook you up with the, the crazy... Well, you didn't buy the blessed. Are you yeah, fucking ones. your relationship with Crocs? No. Is something wrong? No. Because they should have, they should have been on the ball for this. Why don't they, they love you? They, they like, they gave me my own gibbets. Yeah, but they didn't give you the big one. <laughs> Can you get big gibbets? Oh, do they have Can them? you get big gibbets for these? Is... <laughs> Imagine a bunch of like little butt plugs and dildos like <laughs> flopping around. <laughs> these. That's all I'd fit in. <laughs> I know it's such a big hole. You got big... two tails on the back. Yeah, the shoe. that'd be that'd be pretty cute. I, I Croc don't make this. They don't have these. I thought this croc, was a, it's a collab. It's, it's a, a licensed collab. Like creation that's been like pr approved by Croc. Beep beep. <laughs> that, I do feel your thing going. Yeah. <laughs> that just put a man. Are you, you said about chess boxing, man? You haven't told the world yet. Yeah, no, I I was really excited. If you guys didn't put the breadcrumbs together. You yeah, know. the breadcrumbs of slime being like, I'm gonna sleep anyone. Also, I'm really into chess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was new. I, I didn't, I didn't admit that until the last week, which was like actually the day I think that we found out. But uh, before that, I was like, yeah, I work out a lot now. I'm, wor hey guys, oh, I could sleep all of France. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know, that was the breadcrumbs. I was training for like a month, five days a week. It was really fun. I liked it a lot. And now I have no one to destroy. You could do a street fight. 
I don't want to do a street fight. Yo, we get you on street beefs. We could get you on street beefs. If I I can't fight Beach, bro, he would kill me. Yeah. Baby uh, Hulk, Beach, Iraqi Assassin. You sleep, Baby Hulk. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you still want to fight someone? Uh, I I was thinking about it as like Creator Clash or whatever. So, well, there's the equivalent. There's the Misfits one, but that's kind of like anything that benefits Keemstar. I really just can't <laughs> bring I, myself to be. I did get an Insta DM from Keemstar. Right after I announced that my thing wasn't happening, yeah, he's like, "How can I help, man?" And then I replied, "No answer." You you replied, "No answer." No, I replied, and, and then he, he ghosted. ghosted. Oh. oh, you replied, and he ghosted you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, you got diced. I got ghosted by Keemstar. <laughs> you got diced. I'm so bad. Oh, you gotta bro. wear those shoes for life. <laughs> I know. It's actually a punishment. It's a binding shoe. <laughs> uh, just like drop your pocket. Love. I don't it. know if you had the have the tenacity after Saturday night because what Radstads had a had a small gathering at his house and in the build up to this he asked me to bring the boxing gloves from the office two pairs of Shake boxing gloves Shake was talking a lot of shit so he can battle it out with Shake at the party probably in the backyard a real a real street beef all in front oh, of Rads us Oh Rads would kill Shake No 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 Slime versus yeah, Slime, slime versus Shake, shake. Oh yeah, this, also is, just at, this is just at this is just at Radstads house and then I bring the gloves everybody's talking and Slime is inside, Shake is outside, and they're both barking. They're both like, I'm going to beat the shit dude, out of this, like dude. The, I'm going to fucking the sleep. The video of the two dogs are barking with and the And then in, yeah. outside, outside, somebody will ask Shake, he's like, so are you going to fight Slime? And he's like, oh, just one more game of beer die, man. And we're just, like, just going to play a little more beer die. And then inside, Slime, are you going to go outside and fight Shake? Ah, uh, just one more friendly, man. Just like one more I'm game playing of Melee. Melee with and this and goes on for hours. <laughs> and then they just wind up playing Melee instead of fighting. <laughs> Y'all ducked each other, huh? Uh, no, here's the, what we actually did. I don't know if you saw this, Aiden. You might have left. We stanced up without gear. I put the big gloves on. He has the smaller ones. We're in Radzad's living room. And I take one... I'm not kidding. I take one step towards Shake. He backs up immediately and almost knocks a TV over. <laughs> And he's been drinking. I get it. You know, it's a, it's not a fair fight. And so then you backed off and you said, we can't yeah, fight. Yeah, and I said, we're not doing this. Mm. We don't have headgear. And like, you're not supposed to just, you, you fight the one time, right? You spar with the gear on, which we didn't have. But you don't just fight without head shit just for fun. Uh, unless you're a beast, which we're not. Do you guys know what beard eye is? Yeah. You, you've heard of it? Have you guys heard of it before no. Before this weekend? Jake this apparently is, came and made this up. Yeah, Wait, it, is this not throw up, die, and hit corner? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a classic, well, maybe not classic, fraternity game, I feel like. It's a pretty classic for and, Freck. And Shake showed up at this party. This is why he was drunk, I think. And he wants to teach everybody beer die out back. Nobody in the backyard has heard of this game except, uh, except me. And I accidentally played it like a long time ago. Because I don't think it, it's not like a beer pong. You're also Dylan in super this popular. moment. You know more and frat I'm, games than most people. I'm Dylan. And yeah. I'm teaching everybody. I'm like, if you want Ashley to fucking look at you, you have to throw a <laughs> sick die in the air. Uh, but Shake is like teaching the <laughs> rules. Shake reveals that he has learned the game that morning because he went to a <laughs> he went to a frat party in Malibu. Dude, Shake's a weird oh, life dude, right now. Yeah, yeah, Shake has a weird life. <laughs> but, I don't know what he's and doing. I was like, dude, I was like, who whose party was that? Did we like, not why work out there? yesterday? He's like, don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I we out dude, yesterday. that's what I'm saying. When did he have time to go to we, this? We literally worked out I, he went to a fraternity party in malibu learned how to play beard eye showed up at radstads and then chided people for not knowing how this to play is, beard this eye. is such a shake drizzle moment dude. yeah yeah he's a bigger yes man than me uh like saying like yes he to will things. do anything oh, he will hey. say yes to anything and then he'll come down. back and he'll be like yeah i'm the best at this thing now he does have an ego on him and i will say sometimes it needs to be lowered because he said i could become sam sulik with a bit of trend <laughs> and i said no <laughs> And he said, it's all just the trend. Okay. Sam Sulik does not take a bit of trend. He doesn't sip trend. But even if he took all the trend Sam Sulik did, he would not be close. He'd well, be close. Shake's fucking huge right now. <laughs> Dude, we were, we were at the climbing gym the other day. It was just me and Shake, and we we're sitting down on the mat, and this literally, I'm not kidding, this seven-year-old girl is climbing, climbing the wall, and she's trying to do a V3, and she's too short to reach the first hole. Like She can't even get there. So she starts to use the other climbs to get to the first hold so she can start it. And Shake out loud says, she's literally cheating. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Dude, that is so fucking We're three funny. feet from this little girl. And he's like, she's literally cheating. He says, and I'm like, like she, <laughs> she's cheating. Fuck? I'd sleep her. She yeah. sucks a gear die. Arms crossed next to her. It doesn't count. 
It doesn't count. He, yeah. was, he was on that ship for real. It's for her to get down. You're like, you know that didn't count. You know, right? Touch on the right? <laughs> you can try it again, though. <laughs> it's also such an advantage. Like, little kids, they weigh 10 pounds, so they could probably just climb like crazy. Little kids really the trade-off is that they can't fucking reach. Yeah, but they are very lightweight and very good mm. they, when they train. Hey, this episode is sponsored by NordVPN. Nord protects your online activity, and uh, as things like phishing, password attacks, and DDoS, you ransomware. You know what I call it? What do you call it? SwordVPN. You call it, it's not the name Sword. of the company. Why would you call it that? Because it's a, I use it as a tool to defend myself, like I would a sword. But okay, not- so imagine I am coming Coming through your Ethernet as a DDoS attack, yeah. you have a sword. Tell me what you're gonna do. I cut your head off. I cut your head off immediately. Out. I've been Done. I've been thwarted. What would you do, Aiden, if I was attacking you right now? Right now, attacking you right now. I'd yeah, I'd let you kill me. I'd let you kill me because I don't have NordVPN or no, sword VPN or sword VPN. Or and sword, I also and use sword VPN. Which when you when you use our code, it's the nordvpn.com slash the yard. You can switch servers quickly and account. You can use up to six devices. Six devices? And if you're Aiden and you play Heavy. games like Mario Kart Wii Online and you have to connect to Germany, you could yeah. uh, connect with a German IP if yeah. you wanted to. And yeah. you say Sprechen Sie Funky Kong. Funky Kong. <laughs> and you... I am Funky Kong. <laughs> it's that's, Norwegian. That's, I think. <laughs> no, that's that's German. German. That was German. Oh, so funky for so me. All the rights. So this, this is bad. This only works with Germany, though. This You can't do this with other countries. I, pers- I recently used uh, NordVPN, true story, to uh, get past the firewall on a plane to use YouTube. Because they were really? blocking streaming services yeah, Scandinavian on my flight. Scandinavian Airlines blocks gaming websites. Yeah, and they get considered that. YouTube like that. It's, like it's school. And then NordVPN. Mm-hmm. It goes right around out. it, yeah. So I was just using YouTube, like I was the only person on the plane. You couldn't check Discord without NordVPN. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I use Discord re- too. This is a real story. That's well, nordvpncom yard or click the link in the description below. It doesn't matter. We're it's gonna go risk back to the free. Episode. Nord's thirty day money back guarantee. That is nordvpncom yard Let's get back to the episode where Ludwig is back, and we like him, man. Right? No. Shake lives a weird life. I, 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 as we hang out with him more and more, I learn so much. He becomes more confusing. Yeah. But ultimately, easy to sleep. He loves a good concert. That's crazy. He loves the mosh pit. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that either. I was with him last night. He was like, I love John Mayer. And then then he he told me, he's like, you know, normally I wouldn't tell people this. I feel like I'd get clowned. <laughs> no, he, he I definitely, like, say it right now. He definitely brought space. it up because we also had a thing last night, and he was like, "I actually brought my guitar today, but it's in the car, so I don't want to go get it. I was gonna play John Mayer." What? He said that. This is shake this, and dribble. It's because we were we were we, we were, were finishing working out, and we were sitting we were sitting on the bench talking about what our favorite John Mayer songs were. Jesus Christ! And it, and it gave him the confidence to Night- nightmare to, blood we're rotation. Doing, uh, John Mayer top five. I like I like daughters <laughs> and a kombucha circle. Yeah, this was like. I'm surprised Shake took part in this this white core activity. It was a kombucha enema. What, Czech people are white. Czech people. Czech people. Yeah. Mm. What do you mean? What do you mm. mean? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do I mean? That means I don't know enough to talk about this further. Shake, shake will cause when this comes up, he's like, I do look racially ambiguous. Yeah, he says. Oh, shake has the bus and haircut now. Does he? What is it? What is no? He just oh. has curly hair. He no, curly no, he got hair. the fade. He got no. the fade. I saw him yesterday. Yeah, I know. And he has a bus in haircut. I also saw him yesterday, and I didn't think he's got the bus in haircut. Zipper like plays drum roll. He has, he has he has a fade. He has huge <laughs> biceps. He haircut. goes to frat parties in Malibu, and then makes fun of nerds at parties when they Dude, don't he's know the leave game you behind, team. little bro. Hmm? Yo. One day you're gonna be like, Shake, I need a video, and he's, Dude, he's like, gonna... make your own damn video. Oh. Dude, he says that. And you'll have to keep paying him because he's so assertive. I don't think that will happen. He's like, actually, you pay me triple now, and I don't even work for you anymore. What would Shake have to do to get fired? And I'm talking about do something. He'd have to get stronger than me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's fired? when you let him go. Yeah, he, they, <laughs> that's the doctor. This is not the Shake drizzle. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's shake. George Costanza with a busted haircut. It's so funny. Dude. Shake, shake was telling me he's been goading Ludwig for being overweight. <laughs> like, yeah, she, like, he was telling me he's like Ludwig will do a pull up and he's like, wow, it's really good for someone like your size. <laughs> <laughs> We were we were at, at dinner last night. We were talking about what good shape you're in. We were we, we all said you look you great. It's true. Mm-hmm. We had a circle. Where we talked about how good you look. I got a fit bod. You do have a fit bod. Uh, I got you, a fit bod. You showed it off as a banana last night. I showed it off with my hot banana costume. You hid it from the world. My hot bod. Yeah, show them. I showed them. I wore a bodysuit and I had to cut a hole in my penis. <laughs> area <laughs> area like on the bodysuit to uh, pee out of. I yeah. see. 
I was saying he was like a boxing corner man. He's like, yeah, I can't piss. You gotta cut me. <laughs> yeah, I can't piss out there. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm just <laughs> pissing off. Dude, I pissed all over my suit last night. Really? Yeah, like all at over. At the gala? bathroom? Yeah, at the gala. Because the way my banana suit worked is that it was basically like it didn't cover my legs. It just rode out in front. So I had to move it over, <laughs> you know, like a like a leaf in the year zero. And then I was peeing. And then I just I think I just fucking let go. And then it goes. Boy, yo, 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 and then my piss just starts hitting the back of my banana. Yeah. And it's there's just piss everywhere. And it's an all gender bathroom. <sighs> what I didn't realize this venue's weird. It has an all gender bathroom. In a men's bathroom, there's no women's the two bathroom. genders. It's just all <laughs> genders or men. That's all. Well, maybe it's maybe it's because of urinals. Uh, have a urinal option select. Yeah, the men's had one well, urinal. You can shit in a urinal, but it also and you should. But at that, if there's a men's in an all gender, shouldn't I? I don't know. Either way, I I I was rinsing it off, and then and then people start walking in, and I'm. Rinsing off my banana. Yeah. Because I peed all you over peed all it. all over yeah, it. Yeah, that's embarrassing. It is embarrassing, Aiden. And then I cut off my pee early, and then I was like, fuck. And so then like now 10 it minutes hurts. later, like, yeah. I'm going back, because I'm like, I got to pee again. You're and waddling I, in your boots. I'm waddling in my boots with my pissed, smelly banana suit, and I go into the all gender, and then there's a bunch of girls there, and they're like, no, guys here. Yeah. And I'm like, you're I'm like, I'm not a guy, I'm a banana. Here. I was you know just, how you had to pull it to the side? That's how girls pee sometimes. They just pull it over if they squat in the parking lot. My friend Kaylee did this. It being their butt. <laughs> pull this no, the pull yeah. over their butt. <laughs> their butt. No, she was baller, bro. It was her birthday, and we all went to a strip club, her idea. And then in the parking lot, she's like, I really got to pee. And she just opens her car door and squats behind it like a, like a cop at a fucking armed robbery. <laughs> you know? And like it was her cover. And then she... And I was like, how do you do that? Because I was learning at Fuck the time. Fuck, girls are so cool. And yeah. then she's like, no, you just pull it to the side. And you just I don't piss. like how you keep saying pull it to the side. The underwear. I know, but stop saying it. Yeah, it doesn't make it ambiguous. You pull have it you to the side. Seen, have you ever seen the piss funnels that girls yes. can Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you Is that, seen Oh, that? the one that makes it like a dick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can use it to pee standing up. In a urinal. The extendo clip. Yeah. <laughs> the silencer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think Which that's beautiful. Which attachment are you running right now? Also, I had a I, I copped a ceramic monkey from the uh, from the gala. Yeah, you stole the shit out of that. I didn't steal it. At, Cutie asked me before she even did the shit. She was oh, like, "Do you want to keep this?" So I, I I cop it, and then the whole time I'm walking around with a ceramic monkey, and uh, he was the talk of the town. The ceramic monkey. Yeah, he's, he's a cute guy. He's a cute guy. Are we concerned about this? Oh. There's a man stepping around on the top of the roof Riding because he's horse. fixing the AC. Top of my chest. It, yeah, it's the AC guy. Oh, okay. Yo, what, you thought it was a ninja? Um, per perhaps like a really bad ninja. <laughs> a loud ninja. <laughs> yeah. That's like your first day well, of the job. if you're on a roof, you're like a decent ninja. Oh my God. Speaking of, maybe this is... Look, I was watching Ninja today earlier play Fortnite on yeah. the stream. Why? What? Wh what do you mean why? Why were you watching Ninja play Fortnite? That's a valid question. On his stream earlier You don't today. play Fortnite. I like Fortnite. Do you? We like Fortnite. We like... Okay. Do so we not? go ahead. We like Fortnite. And well, we all played in Fortnite Mondays and together. <laughs> well, we did. Yeah, what we did. Mondays. Talk about the blue driller. <laughs> I'm watching you, bro. And there's a... There's like... You know that new... It's not new, but like the way people will make fun of uh, like campy comedy from like the 2000s like uh yeah uh, this is weird yeah i watched i watched back to back a ninja stream and then a video of that a guy doing that as if he was at his divorce hearing and he's like huh this oh you're taking the kids just what i wanted alert you know <laughs> and i realized that's just ninja that he person just talks like that he just, all the time. He just ironically talks like that and i'm like that's crazy you can't do that you could 10 years ago but it's now. But he's been doing it for 10 years. Yeah, it doesn't matter because he walked away with the bag. He does have the bag. Yeah. It doesn't what, matter. What, one must imagine Ninja happy. <laughs> <laughs> one must imagine Ninja finishing out the terms of his contract happy. Uh, I had a watershed moment. Do you think he's happy? I was like, it was like one to one. Uh, no. I don't think anyone who's, who talks like that is happy. Do you think anyone... Oh, he's got a sleeve? Shit. He got, he's tatted up. Do you think people with this critical success room. are happy? No, no, Who, definitely who's not. Who's happy who streams? <sighs> what a great question, Ludwig. <laughs> squeaks. Uh, squeaks. Is he happy? I think he is. Yeah. Give me someone bigger. Doug, Doug. He's happy? Yeah. No, no, miserable. No? Miserable. Why? How do you know? Just can feel it. 
You feel that Doug Doug's miserable. No one's like, you know what I should do for stream today? I should engorge myself with the worst things on earth. That's not all he does. And you're all like happy. Yeah, but it's a decision from that mind. But he's from got a fucking he, twisted, fucked up mind of a streamer. Yeah, it's so dark and scary. He's in also there. keto. So all he eats is meat and cheese and beef. And yeah, he eats big cheese. And then shits out yeah. big stinky dude, shit. Dude, his shit float to the top. <laughs> <laughs> all shits do. It's, it's a no, kinder. No, they don't. It's called no, like what? a kinder egg. Those shits float? Mine sink. Bro, your shits float? Those shits float and bubble a bit. Wow. Bubble a bit? <laughs> what do you eat it? They fizz. Uh, is that know. a factor? You should watch it. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, is that a fact? Factor, there's enough microplastics in it that makes no, your... <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, Factor, yeah. Is like, no. Factor, it makes your poop buoyant. Did, what if you went to... Uh, I don't have anything. I got you. <laughs> I got, my shit hit the water like an Alka-Seltzer. Oh, Ew. It bubbles. That's a visual. Yeah, mm. For sure. Very... Uh, we were we we never thought we'd make it to 118, but here we are, and this is what you get. <laughs> this is the this is My the shit. final nasty like poop speckles of what we can offer. You're you all ever taking a dump and then you puke <laughs> <laughs> in the dirt. Oh, I did a 24 hour stream with Squeaks, and one of the things we were doing was the Doug Doug challenge for one restaurant. That's it, just one restaurant okay. that the winner picks. The loser has to go to. And I won the challenge. I made him go to KFC. Yep, easy. And pick. we're in the KFC drive through Only one small Camry in front of us. You're with, with one, him? I'm with him. Okay. And one small Camry in front of us, one small person inside of it. And then uh, the guy slow rolls us. Oh, can I get the person in front? They're like, fine, pull up. <laughs> okay. And we pull up, and the guy's like, $58. Ooh. I'm like... I didn't know you could spend that much here. Did he get a gift card? <laughs> uh, you just get a cup of gift card. You gotta card. eat the you card. Yeah, they get a gift card. You gotta eat it. Still slow rolling. Out comes like two combo meals, five biscuits, one box, oh, one box of gravy. Yeah. Just a fuck ton You're of behind, food. Behind uh, Sam Solik. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing his breakfast. <laughs> uh, and and then Squeaks is sitting there. We tallied up six thousand calories mm. in one, one restaurant. That's fucked up. That's dude. fucked up. That's fucked up. That was way. That's the worst RNG possible. Yeah, yeah. He hit the max. I don't that's think like forty two try Dampe. It's it's easily a reset. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't reset in this run. It's a no reset. Did he just skull it all? He he started whining so hard. <laughs> 6,000 calories is squeak, all. man. 6,000, I don't think it's doable. Let's send you to the fucking hospital. Especially if it's KFC, bro. Dude, Shake was, back to Shake, he was bragging to me, like we were driving in the car, and he's like, yeah, Ludwig and Squeeze had all this KFC earlier, and then they let me eat the rest of it. <laughs> and he was saying it to me like it was like a, like a huge come up, and I'm like, dude, that's bro, gross. Bro, they let me eat the rest. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, I love KFC. Oh, my God. Yeah, Squeaks failed, so I, I ate along with him, and then we gave Shake the rest, and then I'm making him do an hour of NPC stream in public. Oh my god! So come see Shake Drizzle at Third Street Promenade at a date near near you. I can't. I'm gonna go. Give me squeaks. Squeaks. I like and Shake Drizzle. And Shake, Drizzle. <laughs> Shake Drizzle. NPC stream. I'm making Shake. Slimes go. a pussy. Slimes a pussy. I could sleep him. <laughs> <laughs> I love Squeaks, man. He was really funny last night. He's funny. He's just. He just has it. He just knows. Today's podcast is brought to you by Cash App. It's got tools for saving, spending, and sending, and it's an all-in-one way to control and grow your money. Uh, speaking of control, I'm a king now. I'm the king of this podcast. You control me. It's right. because I've saved so much money uh, with Cash App as my primary banking tool that I now uh, own all of our assets. So Isn't you, that fun? So you, kings, kings become what they are by saving money. By saving money Not properly. conquest. No, the king of any land is just the one who has the most savings. Just the biggest <laughs> saver. Yeah. Is really. So nothing yeah. to do with swords. No, it's mostly rubies, gold, and savings. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyway. What if I was to use a sword on you, king? Um, I would do still... I earn your savings? No. What? It's, That's it's, not it's saving. It's not like loot in a video game. It, it takes discipline. And, you know, online banking apps like Cash App. Is this how the French work? The French don't work. That's like when, famously when they what had they a do. king, and I, the king just saved a lot of money, yeah. they, then they attacked the king. I think king. they got rid of the, their monarchy. Really? They, famously. Because they quit saving money. Yeah. And you know what's funny? If you guys were to download Cash App and save your money, you could afford to buy me a plaque for winning the company tournament. Oh my God. And little, that story is a great they are example. A little, they are a little expensive. Of why and you if you guys had more bread. Of why you should download Cash App in the App Store or Google Play to see why it's the number one finance app in the US App Store. Click the link. 
in the description below. I do we believe that story hear, is a great example. We don't need to hear more about the company. Why you download Cash App? And hey, I don't even remember who won it. I, I, I don't think anyone needs to talk about. Maybe we go back to the episode because we will talk about it. I got closer to him. No. Than even uh, I am with you guys this past week. That hurtful. There's no way. That's true. We did the New York Times 36 questions to fall in love. Oh. You've been wanting to do this. this. You you pitched this for us to do this on the podcast once and we all shot it down. Yeah. But he did it with me because he's not afraid to explore each other's bodies. I am afraid. I'm. Because I want you, but I don't want to. I don't want the responsibility to be with you. Like a dog. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. I want you. I leave the house a lot. Bad. He, but he wants. I, I, I you're wanna... a car and he's chasing you down the street. <laughs> but if he ever caught up, he wouldn't know what to do. I want the best of you and not the rest of you. You want me, but then when it's time to ride me, you don't know how to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I want the breast of you. I want the breast of you, Ludwig. Uh, we did the 36 questions. It's intimate. Really? The questions are like, I mean, it's like everything you could feasibly ask that's like... Can you pull it up? Are they first, first date friendly? friendly? No. Really? They're not. They are not first... I mean, you could do it on a first date, but like you are instantly getting in What's that it shit. Ask? It's like, will you, will you spit on it? What's it asking you? <laughs> yeah. Well, do, you, are, do you spit on it and ride? Or is it a lube sitch? Uh, Zipper, can you pull up 36 questions in New York Times? It's an it, old ass. Is this how people in New York like get to know each other? New York Times is not just for people <laughs> from New York. You know that, right? What? <laughs> what? No. Why would you read it otherwise? <laughs> if you're not in the city. Right. Of New York specifically. Also, New Yorkers are like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck out of here. You have a squirt on a date? That's <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> fuck out of here. Do you say you have a squirt on the tits? On, on a, a date. date. Oh, so like, I'm trying to think of like a, fir a dirt first date question that's inappropriate. It's like, yo, you have a fucking what? <laughs> Chanel. What that smell? <laughs> <laughs> and welcoming a random New Yorker to ridiculousness. A uh, Chanel East Coast. <laughs> Chanel East Coast. <laughs> Chanel East. It's it, but it's just like a like a fat construction she worker. She doesn't guy. laugh at anything. <laughs> just mad all the time. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Questions to fall in love. Zip. Ludwig's mad at Zipper because he can't pull it up now. Because what, what could Zipper possibly be doing? Is he gone? Oh, uh, okay. Do you need me to get there? I can get there. Get the 36 there. questions that lead to love, New York Times. Pay right now for a subscription. Fuck you! Did it lead to love? Do you love him now? Uh, I love him now. Did you? Do you think after that test, you could be like, yeah, I could marry this guy? Uh, you know what? I realize I'm not gay. Yeah? Yeah. What? So, I don't know if I could. Um, there no, is, no, no, no. Is this it? I don't think this that's is it. They might have just taken them. Is, yeah, if you can scroll down. Show me, show me. Yeah, this is it. This is it. But don't do, go to like deep one. Go to like question 29 or some shit. All right. Here we go. Tell your partner something you like about them already. Wow, that's very deep. Ludwig. No, I said 29. Uh, when did you last cry in front of another person or by yourself? Actually, the two parts question and answer both. Oh, jeez. Go out 28. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your Isn't life. Isn't that bad, Ludwig? Okay, look, it felt about? very This is bad for Ludwig because he can't fucking open up. That's Yeah, he's, he's like, like no, I gotta tell someone no. something I think. He's like, dude, these are crazy, I'll be, dude. I'll be honest. I, so last week, I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Dude, yeah. I got such funny context to that. So, so my girlfriend who, who lives with us, we, uh, she was telling me like the other day Aiden came home and he was being like really like short with me. And I was like, I don't know if he like, I did something wrong. And like, I, I was really, I was really confused and he was like going and he was like asking me to take my stuff out of the washer, but like really weird. <laughs> oh my God. And then she's like, then I put it all together. He was embarrassed because he shit himself. <laughs> oh my God. Aww. And you and he had to ask her to take her stuff out so he could wash his poop. <laughs> Why didn't you just bury it in the yard like an animal, you piece of shit? Because it wasn't that bad. Why didn't you just wash it with her stuff in there? <laughs> hey, hey, Zipper 2, I'm throwing some shit in there, so don't worry about it. I just it's like tomorrow. Be real casual about it's it. be cool, calm. It's like, it's, a, it's like no big deal, but I do need you to take out your stuff like right now. Like right now, I need to wash something right now, but it's like no big deal. Don't, uh, don't ask me why I need to wash anything right now. And then, and then she said the same thing we said, where I was like, huh, there's a pause, and she's like, I don't even know why she, he put him in there. And I'm like, I know. Yeah. She's like, he, she, wasn't, he it wasn't, I didn't like shit. I didn't wash <laughs> shit my pants like, like sludge. 
in there. It's very, it was oh, it's very binary process. He's swinging process. around like a Caltrop. Not binary. It's shit, like a sock different full of pants. No, no, shit in your pants is very binary. You either shit them or you did not. There's shit in your pants or there's not shit in your pants. <laughs> fine, fine. I didn't. It's I didn't. on the spectrum. You didn't hit like a Mach 1 it's shit. No, spectrum, sometimes there's shit grease. It's a spectrum of shit. What? what? There's shit grease. That's the in-between. Yeah. But you yeah. didn't do that. It was a little grease. swamp ass. What is yeah. shit grease? It's, oh my god, shit. This like, is what like happens when you sweat? shit your way through college. Yeah, it, it is what happens. <laughs> when were they supposed to learn this? Not, oh, uh, Mac? <laughs> <laughs> you, you learn this in Psych 101. There's a point in your life uh, yeah. as, as a person. As a male. Where, a bourbon. Where you hit an age where sometimes your ass just gathers sweat. Oh, okay. And because of the process of cleaning asses in America without a bidet normally, mm. there's just like a little poop on the hair strands. Oh. <laughs> I've cleaned my ass. My ass has been squeaky clean since the day I... Became a man, which is when I bought a bidet. A bidet changes everything. It really yeah. does. Because you clean correctly. God damn it. We fucked up. They're Somewhere so good. along the way. They're so good for us. <sighs> Ludwig, when, when's the last time that you cried in front of somebody? Uh, I don't want to share with you guys. Why? I don't want to share, share with squeaks? my love. Well, it's a very intimate question. My did love you answer squeaks? that question with squeeze? It's probably on stream. We yeah. just watched the stream. I did. No, you can't. But it, it'd be invasive. But we could. <laughs> it'd be invasive. Invasive to watch your broadcast. To our time. It'd be invasive to us. Asking one of his mods what when he last cried. <laughs> we don't know. Doctor Battle has a spreadsheet. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I, you know why Ludwig is, is still a psychopath to this day? Because mm. remember, when we're way back, that was often at the point of talk topic. Well, True. Like, no, 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 no. You can't say what you said was a point of topic. We it's would just talk what you about said. it. You would talk about it. Yeah, but it. we all would talk about it. You'd defend yourself like, an, like a rabid You've animal. You've been telling me that I'm a psychopath for maybe five years. I know. And it started, <laughs> I think, before. Remember when you read Elon Musk's autobiography and you're really into like entrepreneur guys? I read uh, Steve Jobs. It's, uh, it's, yeah, Steve Jobs' autobiography. Yeah. I read Elon Musk's biography. Yes. Didn't write it himself. You were just like, Steve Jobs didn't write it himself. You were on either, some actually. like a Grussel. <laughs> Sigma, like, like if crypto was back, or was around back then, the way it was now, it would have been fucked up. No, it would have been bad. You think I would have been big in a crypto? Yeah. You would have been the one with the NFT no. apartment. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, don't try to get rid of that one. That's <laughs> a you thing. You would have it. You would have you it. Would have it. it. I, I'm it going to shame Pat Ludwig for having it. Dollars. I, to be clear, I think I did get affected by it. That's why I made a business. That's why I wanted to be all business. That's why I was like, let me make a merch company. Ugh. Let me make a let me get a warehouse. So I'm driving him back. Which from, we're I'm in. driving him back from fishing, mm. right? And he's drunk. Also, when Ludwig's drunk, he is just such a normal guy. Yeah, it's uh, uh, he, he releases his inhibitions. You were pretty drunk at the gala, the and I just kept being rise, reminded. Yeah. I'm like, he's just a guy who's here. He doesn't mm. try to be like the main character. He's just like, and I I'm reminded of be, you being drunk. Is the best version of yourself. My bet. My best friend comes screaming. Do you back know the to movie me. Another Round? <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. he, he's forty minutes into Another Round. We've right talked now. about this, but <laughs> we've talked about it a thousand times. But I just want you to know, like, this, this, we've done this podcast already. Forty minutes. We've already done this podcast. Yeah, I, Talk about poops again. <laughs> when you're drunk, you're electric. That's the thing about you, and I would hate for you to not be. Okay. I just I just want you to know that that's the best version of you. I've been another round in Wait, juvies for all of the What's yards. the psychopath thing? <laughs> what the so fuck? The psychopath thing. We're in the car on the way home from fishing. He's drunk as fuck. Mm. Great. <laughs> I'm having a good And he's time. saying, I hate amen. And we're just talking about, like, you know, like stuff. Like, you know, we're talking about work and, like, the companies and, like, the yard. And I asked him, I was like, how do you like the yard? Like, what do you feel about it? And he's like, oh, it's, like, accomplishing its goals. And I'm like... How do you feel about it? He's like, I mean, like the goals of the yard are like being accomplished. And I'm like, Ludwig, tell me how you feel. Like, do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you do? You think there's something to change? Do you think there's not? And he's just like, yeah, I just look at things like in terms of goals. And I'm like, and like he's drunk and saying this. Yeah, like this is hardwired. Well, you know, I I wouldn't if I heard that, I still wouldn't believe that it's all about that. It was when his sister said it. We yeah. were in France, and she was like, "He's just like everything's a goal." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, this transcends reality. Life. This, this is a before us. In, this is like a, a processor motherboard. The love and before time <laughs> in your brain." We had a good advice episode about this. We talked about goals. Goals. Yeah, I like went, goals. Yeah. Goals when to are make good. Them and when to well, change well, them. Without goals, what are what are you? What are we? What are you? What are what Dan are we? Dancer. That's the New York Times question number thirty-seven. Without goals, what are you? Dancer. But everything is goals. Everything is goals. Here we go. But what happens when you run out of coal? Mm, die. Make new goal. 
This but, is- but, but it is true, Aiden, that many people have goals and then they either fail to hit their goals or they do hit their goals and then they're like, what now? And then they're lost. Like, yeah. In- no, but that's not me. I don't know who <laughs> that would be. <laughs> you did accidentally put oh. him in check. Oh. And then I feel like your question and of how you- do you feel about the yard, outside of the act of doing it, which is like, I like doing the yard. I'm cool yeah. with doing the yard. Are you cool was, with doing it? He's have, cool with it. I'm cool doing it. I'm cool with it being a part of my life and schedule, yeah. It's well, like if we ask you, you like it. I, no, I, I started by saying I like it, to be clear. He said he liked You're it, but then hotty, he, he kind of walked it back. It felt like a correction. He kind of walked it Sweaty, back. Sweaty, you getting a little haughty? <laughs> I said he loves that I like too. it. He, and I love it. That it's it's fine being he a part was, of my he life. He was saying he will blow us on our birthday, but we will we'll be like, do you like blowing us on it's our like, birthday? I'm going to do it like, for you. I'll do it. I'm doing it for you. I don't mind doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. Yes, I'm doing it for blowing you now. He's being gaslit. He just said he likes doing it. I did. I'm fine with it. And then... And then the the underlying question I feel like is what is your ambition with it or something to that effect? No, not when I ask. He's it. A, he's asking if you like hanging out with your friends and talking to them in a creative way, and if there's a way we could do it better, or I, if you just like happy doing it for fun. I like I like doing it now. You like the yard. <laughs> I'm okay with it being a part of my life. <laughs> okay. All right. See, and and the, learning the love language of Ludwig is understanding that that's that's big. Love language. The Lud dub Lud- language. Dub, dub language. Dub language. What time is your flight? Uh, it's not for a bit. I'm fine. We don't want you gone. We want you here, boy. We got we got another ten men. Actually, we got another ten men. We got another. This 10, shit flew by. Maybe another fifteen men. Yeah, that's right, Zipper. <laughs> yeah, like, my, yeah. Our, my goal is that we somehow we make fifty million dollars. Why okay. all of easy, it each? Easy, easy, and easy. Lovin can retire, and easy. we can retire. We can retire. And for we can so go much back less. to watching in betweeners. We together. need to buy Lovin's we freedom. We buy him. We need to buy we him out this of this whole he's operation. You, break Lovin out you of the have matrix. 50, fifty million. Do you make? Do, what do you make? New goals. What do I do with fifty mil? I don't know. Chill. Vibe. I can chill now and Everyone, vibe Every now. billionaire needs to heal right here. Vibe. To, Just vibe a little. I don't understand this 50 mil conundrum. Uh, what? I don't know. I think, I, I, I think the general question is, if you have, you have goals, you want to you wanna set out to accomplish certain things, eventually you will accomplish those things based yeah, on your track record. I will. When do you <laughs> stop making new goals? When I die. If ever? When you're dead, yeah. When I I'm agree dead. with him when you're dead. Cause like I have goals too. We all have goals, mm. but it's more like I was when I was asking about the yard. It's like I was just asking how he feels. When I'm dead in dirt and sand, I will die. No, he, mm. he, what he wanted him to say. He wanted him to be like, I mean, I still you know really enjoy showing up because I like talking to you guys, and I think you know we don't hang out a lot as much anymore. So this is like a time to connect, and I enjoy that. I wasn't fishing for that, but like, but yeah, that would have been a category like of yeah, answers yeah. that you would have enjoyed. And look at him, he's wincing. <laughs> Wincing because he can't imagine saying it to us. It hurts to say Do you not like that part? I know. I've made it hard for Ludwig to say things like that to me. Ask him again. Do you do you like this time that we have together? Uh, It's a fine part of my day. (laughs) (laughs) It's the middle part of his day. (laughs) The middle part. Every day it's the middle part. (laughs) Never the worst part. Never the worst. Never the worst part. Never the worst part. Never the best. Never the best. It keeps the void. This is the $50 million conundrum. I don't have a void. Because all your life's pressures revolve around sustaining what you've built. We all have a void. In your words. So you could just sustain it instantly with half of the money. I don't think that's it. That's what you just said before. Sustaining what I've built. Like you started a big old company. Now you got to sustain it. And support it with work. Yeah, but I don't think it's like sustain it in perpetuity because I think that'd be a failed endeavor because I won't. What? It's like have it be sustainable without me, but that's different. I have a question. Huh. Let's say there was like a rich, weird guy, right? Uh, like some weird billionaire, and he would pay you one hundred thousand uh, dollars an hour every t- month to hang out with him and play video games and be his friend. Right. But and his name could, was me. And you I, couldn't make I content out of it. And you couldn't like do it. It was like it had to be low key. Would you do that? No. 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 Why? Because it's like the cost of doing like Marvel Snap. I, I would no. just do Marvel you Snap. You said a hundred thousand dollars an hour every yeah. month. Like I'm assuming one hour, two hours. Yeah. Tops. That's just a good deal. It's just deal. A, basically a sponsor deliverable. Yeah. yeah. Right. But you wouldn't do that. No. Kelby brings that to you. You say no. That's I say crazy. No. It'd be weird. To me. 
You say he's weird? That would be weird, yeah. Yeah, it is weird, because he wants to, like, be... He wants to be friends with a cute young guy. Yeah, that'd be weird. But all you gotta do is play Madden and talk yeah, about be crushing. Weird. I don't want to do that. That's so interesting. <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't want to do that. No, this just makes sense to me. Because he like You would clean Nick's house for 10 grand. This is like Carlos Mencia. <laughs> a fluffy. That's... Oh, my God. That's a different Wait, guy. Wait, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, it's Enrique <laughs> Iglesias. Boo! Oh. Fuck. Boo. So I'm racist like the hypnotist. The yeah. ill mind of Mencia. I'll get us out of Wait, here. Wait, is mind of Mencia a different guy? <laughs> mind of Mencia is Carlos Mencia, but that's that's not Fluffy. Fluffy, Fluffy. is Enrique Iglesias. You guys give me a second here. All right. Yeah, please. <laughs> okay. no, get out the phone. No, this, I, I just got it. I just got to find out. This will solve wrong. your problems. Is being wrong. <laughs> All the same. Dot org. <laughs> 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 That's a fucked up website. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, Ken Chen used to terrorize us with that. God damn it. You would have you try it out? <laughs> yes. Who would I have tried out? I did it with someone recently. Uh well we did it at uh when we lived together. I don't know who this is. What? Shut up, man. Wait, we, you don't know who Fluffy is or no who? mind of Mencia. Carlos Mencia. I don't know who Carlos Mencia is. I don't know who that is. Is what I'm recognizing. No way. I mean, maybe I'd recognize him if I, I saw him. I think I recognize the phrase name. Mind of Mencia. You and I together. That's all we have. Is I watched so, so much Fluffy. With Carlos Mencia and Enrique. You, <laughs> no, no, no. That's, you said Enrique Iglesias. I'm like, oh, isn't that a pop star? That is a oh, pop star. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're twisting me up. Yes. Yeah. This is, yeah. The, I'm, I am also liable because he confused Woo! me. This is hey, bad. Right there, right there, buddy. Welcome to the <sighs> Enrique racist is a podcast. He yeah. is a singer. He has that one pop song. He's the son of what's his name? Ricky Martin. Gabriel Inglis. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get someone else involved. Wow, the cool. This is a racist episode. That's um, awesome. Fluffy on a podcast said so he, he was offered like five million dollars to go to some rich person's birthday party mm -hmm. and hand out gifts and make quips and jokes. And he said no. Why? Because he thought it was weird. He didn't know how to make Isn't jokes. Isn't that part and do of being it. in show business is doing kind of weird shit sometimes for I the rich? I think that it's okay to just do what you want. And I think that's <laughs> phase one mentality. What if for a million dollars an phase hour? Phase up mentality. Huh? A million dollars an hour. It doesn't matter about the money because it's still Trillion. phase one mentality. You're like I'm actually I'm actually gonna be playing Valorant at some kid's bar mitzvah in a couple weeks. So. They wanted Eamon. Yeah. Eamon Eamon Gaiman. This wanted guy will give you a credit card and for the rest of your life you can put any amount of money spent on it until you're dead. In exchange for one hour of, of suckle, supple, he so he gaming, won't do it. sippy cup. You guys are just he so obsessed with peeing, capital peeing and increasing the amount of capital. <laughs> yes, it's like blood. <laughs> what is the goal of the money? What Getting do you do our friend with it? back. What? what? I don't see. I don't see how this connects. I don't know. Well, well, no, the I'll idea is it. buying. Yeah, I'll explain it. So imagine off brand. Mogul, all these companies that he has to work so hard to maintain. He you has do to work, work so hard to maintain. You work so he can hard. just spend a bazillion dollars because he has it and be like, I've fixed all the problems. Oh, I, mean, I could do this tomorrow if I got a kick deal then for a hundred million dollars. And yes. then but that then, would but also then you'd have do to that. be a kick streamer and the optics of that would feel like shit and you wouldn't like that. This one, all you gotta do is hang out with weird This guys. one is for free. It's a gift. You don't change your life at all. You do exactly what you want. Besides you play Madden. But you fix the problem with money for an hour. And then we get to watch in betweeners again. To be fair, article. and I hate being fair to Ludwig, mm. if you wanted to watch Inbetweeners with him real bad, you could make the effort to get say, I'm coming over watching tweeners. I think he'd say no. I don't think he'd say no. You never tried? All right, well, I'm this, this week, I'm going to say, hey, I'm coming over today. That'd be crazy, because I told you I'm going to Japan. He's going to Japan. How long are you gone? A week. I'm missing an extra episode. When you get back. Talk about that too. <laughs> <laughs> when you get back... But I'm gonna, the I'm idea terrorize you. We want to buy you out of your prison. Yeah, of your mental flesh prison. It's not a prison. He's in a prison. I like his own. my job. He built a prison around himself. Yes, and I have the key. No one likes their job. I do. No, I enjoy my job. I find <laughs> it strenuous, but I enjoy it. You not like your job? No, it's a prison. Your job is a prison. All jobs right are now. prisons. Not hmm? equal prisons. Not when we own the means. He's kind of losing me prison wait do you actually <laughs> think all jobs are prisons no i don't what if you obviously not <laughs> what, what, what i love you, what i do are you kidding me what if you work in a place that builds prisons then your job <laughs> is a prison your job is prison but it's not you work it's, in the prison it's not, business it's not a prison it, but it is prison. 
I think I would want to put you in jail for 30 days. I want to put you in a prism. With a big ball, bowling ball tied to your foot. Yeah. Like, like old time jail. They didn't use bowling balls back then. No, that's where they got them. <laughs> it was a prisoner's game. From, yeah, they stole them from the local 10 pin back in fucking 1100. Yeah, and they would attach them to your ankle so you couldn't run away fast. Mm -hmm. And I would put that on you. Right. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm imagining it on well, him. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? It's funny. It's a funny and guy. And he kind of looks like sad. He's like a political cartoon. I would be and, sad. And, and on the bowling ball, it says like the woke media. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a heavy one. It's like a six. Yeah. But it's still annoying. Because it's like, yeah, because it's, it's, like, it's actually not that powerful. And then sometimes you walk and it hits your other foot because it drags a little, oh. it like rolls like, along. Oh, that hurt my oh. ankle. Yeah, it hurts your ankle a and lot. You're like, no. but, well, the part on the ankle also scrapes his other ankle oh, as he walks my by. God. And he's like, ouchie. It's so raw if you walk too long. And that's your life for 30 days only. And then you come back a better man than you were before. Why would this make me a better person? Why wouldn't it? I think it would make you. We'd also person. just buy him different headphones. Do you think it wouldn't? I don't think this scenario that he's describing makes me a better person. I think at it would all. make you vindictive against the cartoon character of a villain who started it. But if you deserved it, or well, actually you do deserve you it, you do deserve it. So if you did it, <laughs> I don't know why do I deserve? Would you rather do this or be electrocuted? <laughs> <laughs> electrocuted for one Not hour? Sexually? Uh, for an hour? Yeah. Am I guaranteed to live? Yes. It's a very non-sexual thing too. It's non-sexual like, electrocution. Don't non love it. Fuck. Yeah, it's not fun electrocution. Would you rather do that or would you rather be electrocuted for electrocuted an hour? Electrocuted for an hour, of course. Wait, it's okay. 30 days of He says going. that, but when people get Dude. electrocuted, they're like, I never want to fucking do that. Being electrocuted for an hour is an insane. Hour? That is but so it depends long. on how, so how many volts. Okay, how about an hour long orgasm? But it oh. gets unenjoyable after minute five. Dude, yeah. an hour is a lot. Dude, oh, I bet that so ruins long. coming for you. It does forever yeah. for life. Yeah. Did we have this conversation? No, what? that's the great nut. Oh. The great nut kills you. The great nut is different. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's, it's a euphoric end, like like <laughs> drug. <laughs> like drug. I would take the great nut. But at what point? Like you, right now. I think right you now. Didn't know you, you would, fucking you wouldn't. You would leave life now for you the great nut? You die right now? Oh, wait. No, maybe I'm misunderstanding. So the great nut kills you. He's going to skip no, tweeters. No, I'm talking about a different conversation we had where I asked, uh, would, it, would you have all of your orgasms at once now for the rest of your life? Or just have your normal life. Yeah, but that kills you. Wait, no, just, no, 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 no. You would just have your you. normal life. Why would you ever want to have them all at once? Because it'd be so dope. <laughs> it would. It would it feel would, so it would feel good. Awful. I think it's like, what do you look forward to after that? Nothing. I go on my grind set. I start <laughs> making bands by my lonely. It would for the rest only of my be life. worth it if you're on like the Today Show, fucking dropping I wanna, ropes. I want to be like David Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> David Blaine, like on the Luxor. And everyone has to watch me do it. What are you, yeah. so you imagining? Like, like you releasing the cum stream of a lifetime in front of like Fox and Friends? Yeah, yeah. 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 In front of like Regis Philbin, and it's just like shooting past him like the Matrix. I'm imagining like a very impressive performance in a New York Times like ball drop. Can you picture picture the opening of the View and it's Whoopi Goldberg being like, "Today we have a young man who says he can do what no one has done before." Brilliant young man. Brilliant young man. Brilliant Let's young bring man. him out here. It's Ludwig. He's hooked up to a bunch of pumps <laughs> and, and is chained like on a cross. I look like he looks Kakarot. like the guy in Akira hooked up to like all the machines. Yeah. Or Lord, like ghosts of the show. Um, Roxas. <laughs> He's breathing heavy. He's like, where I'm ready. You, the, the, where, dude, I bet the, the, the baby produced from that too would be just like a hench yeah, baby. Like an ogre. <laughs> yeah. It would be more human. It's, it's Sam Sulak out the womb. Yeah. <laughs> it it be like a, a little, little trend baby. Yeah. But yeah, they get extra trend because yeah. I give them so much. Oh, dude, I bet that fucks a baby up. Trend? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> it fucks a human up, to be clear. No, it doesn't. It makes them hench. Sam Sulek is going to asphyxiate at 25. Don't I say that. I've been watching his videos. He has insane mic quality. He's good, good quality? Yeah. So shouts out. He just has good. like a road. He yeah, he but he like attaches it to yeah, his it's hat. So good. That you part can, is weird. He's really hear crisp. Him wheezing through every. It's like ambiance. Stop and talking every, shit yeah. on Sam. He pushes his body to the limits. <laughs> I like watching him his work out. His back. His back looked like the surface of Venus. <laughs> it does look good with many holes. <laughs> I want to learn the poses, but I want to do them with no muscles. Yeah. Like when they go like just like the the bodybuilding. Yeah. <laughs> but then like nothing happens. It's hard. I can't. 
I want to do the pose with my my skinny twink back. You your back's getting big, <laughs> dude. A, the, a Sam Sue like style video where Aiden goes to the gym. It's fifty minutes long, and you're just like trying to put up like, like. Well, you're 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 like strong now, but if you're just like trying to put up the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I ate 4,000 calories today. <laughs> you just get really Honestly, fat. It'd be great if it was a series and he kept at it, because then he would actually really improve. Yeah, but the 4,000 would make him fucked up looking. And he heard conversations with every commenter. Oh. And if you bulked, oh, dude. I know, bro. I'm t- I've been telling mm-hmm. him this for if fucking a month. If you bulked, you'd look crazy. He should yeah. just bulk. Yeah, 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 yeah. he'd be way you too powerful. This is the only meal he eats in two days. Now he's eating like a cow. Yeah. A he little doesn't cow. eat a lot. And then he has one protein shake and he's like, no, I ate a lot. I ate a lot. I ate a lot. I know I ate a lot. It's like count the calories. Oh, 900. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good, my goat. <laughs> oh, if oh, he was just shredded, if, that would be fucked I'm, I'm up. Doing, Aiden, can I ask you a question? I'm doing great right now. Can I ask you a question? I'm doing great right now. If you, if you finally got what was coming and you were on death row. He finally got what you deserved. If we, if we all get what we want. <laughs> And you get one final meal. Mm. What are you eating? Oh, like, he'd ask for fucking some sort of like Dutch fucking toast and salmon. And it's like really easy to finish in two no, seconds. No, I think he's a great answer. I would never order toast scoggin as my last meal. Toast scoggin? <laughs> what would you order? Mm. I'd get the hairy crab. The hairy oh crab dish God. I ordered one, one time. Yeah. It's the best thing I've ever tasted. You do talk about that hairy crab. Hairy crab with a... With some sort of butter on it. It was the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. I love the idea of a death row meal. It's like, at, at the very least, we are a human. We are human. What do you get? I think I get, like, a anti-death potion. That, like, it's like in Metal no, Gear. And it puts me to sleep. No, tell me more about it. No, I want to hear more about the death potion. It's in Metal Gear. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like you bite down and Metal it Gear? fakes death. Yeah. And then they take you to the... The room where the dead people go. Yeah, solid snakes and in there oh, too. Oh, you're talking about like the thing that makes it look like you're dead for a bit. And then you wake up. Yeah, I'd probably get like an anti <laughs> electrocution serum. And and then I and then what I do you sleep. think you wake up? You think they dumped your body outside the gates? Yeah, they they, they put you in the <laughs> hole. And then you just like All no, right. I slow. I wake up on the table and I sleep the morgue guy. Yeah. Now we're fucking playing with fire. Right. You put him in the box. I put him in the box. I put his clothes on. It's like, like it's Roddy me, Rich, John, Johnny <laughs> Morg. <laughs> and then I walk out, free man. <laughs> Go what to Mexico. You, what are you eating? Yeah, so anti electrocution serum. They don't electrocute people anymore. Um, we they only do, do that to Aiden. Uh, why do you get to talk about I my last meal? Do. I think they do. <laughs> I like how it tastes. You just like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there's some states where they do electrocute. No. Texas. I think Texas so. For the sport. Show are us there, Texas. Aren't there a couple where firing squad is technically allowed still? I think, like, yeah, but I don't think it's practical. I think electrocution has happened in our lifetime many times. Dude, if firing squad, can they just miss? Well, it's multiple people, like, so... Well, yeah, right, but what if you're like, ah! And then they all, and like... you just get lucky? Yeah. Divine intervention? I don't think it's, like... Uh, no, it's multiple get... people. Everyone has blanks but one person, right? Oh, because, yeah, because you don't want to be the person that, like, did it oh, and on your crime. You don't know you're firing a blank. Yeah. But, but I don't, one person has a real bullet. But, like, if somebody missed, per se, I don't think it's, like, oh, you get off. No, I think you do. I think, I think like you that. should. It one should shot. be like that. It should be like that. I think that. it should be one... I think we should know the death penalty is what I think. But okay. I think if we did, yeah. it should be one revolver, six rounds. It's a recreation of the range in Valorant, and you have to run around and dodge the bullets like I did with tens. Yeah. <laughs> and if you dodge all six, you get off. That, I, I think that would be prisoner's advantage there because all they would do is train agility. They would do suicides <laughs> yeah. in, their, in their fucking cell. So let them. Just back and forth then all they'd, day. They'd be phenomenal. Is there an electrocution zipper? You know what I'd pick for my meal? I'd pick something that takes like a fucked up amount of time to eat. Sorry, guys, I'm not done. For like six <laughs> extra hours? It's like, I have like, can I have 11,000 hot dogs? <laughs> it's a not only eat, but source. And I want them tied together like the cartoons. Yeah. So I can go. <laughs> the question, Zipper, was what states still offer electrocution as if a any. method of death penalty? I get a. Was that just. What Isn't you... electrocution, it just means it kills you, right? What? No, it lets you live. No, no. I mean, it's not just getting Jesus shocked Christ. by electricity. It Alabama, means Florida. Many, many states. Six states. Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Kentucky, eh, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Mississippi, Noti- Oklahoma. <laughs> Noticing a bit of a theme with where these states are. They all use electrocution still. 
as an option and then lethal injection Isn't i think is the more common lethal injection like fucked though yeah i mean it's all fucked right yeah we should probably just there's get rid like of the there's not like a very easy huh? way to kill people yeah. super efficiently in a all right. what if, about you a had, if you had to make a new death penalty the guillotine failed so many times did it yes because it, oh. it, if it was too dull they go like ow guys fuck do you get to live that like what? the firing squad like it doesn't if your neck stops it yeah no they oh like, you got a hench neck they dude, bring it up like and they hack it and you can't roam you, you work your neck out all year dude your neck's so big and dude. it's like fuck let's do it let's do it let's Brock Lesnar does not get his head cut off no, he's just he like, lives every time I hear guillotine I think about that uh, girl in my dorm who said I should be subject to the guillotine because Smash GG got 11 million dollars in startup funding she said you, that you should be put on the your head on a because in a you basket. work there. Yeah, I so <laughs> I Facebook posted when Smash EG got its Series A, which was I, I think eleven million, so venture capital funding. And then she had a Tumblr that nobody knew about except one other person in my dorm, which happened to be my roommate. And she made a post about how this white guy in her dorm got eleven million dollars for his Super Smash Brothers tournament. You, said, even, you didn't even own Smash CG. Yeah, and said I should be guillotined. You were making and like forty not grand. A, not a tournament, a a, a tech startup do that have, I am an intern at. <laughs> do we have her number? Hmm? Is her number available? Yeah, I think she, she sounds blocked cool. me on Facebook when I confronted her about this. Oh, you confronted her? Yeah. You said, "Hey, you said that I should be killed." What's the yeah, deal? Hey, I'm going to burn I'm going to burn a mill, make it 10. Yeah, <laughs> she she didn't I don't she didn't apologize and then she That's asked beast. how I found out about her Tumblr page and then I wouldn't tell her that and then she blocked me. Wow. I'm on her side. That's pretty beast. You didn't confront her in person? Uh no. Mm. no. She is being very beast, but I like, like Aiden like, for being like, why are you saying I should be killed? Stop like, it. like if Elon Musk was like, I bought a forty million dollar car, right? I'd be like, I want you to have the guillotine used on you. <laughs> I'm funny for that. I he's not a winner. No, no, but you're funny for it. You're not funny for it saying it on your like personal like like screaming blog. No, I had to tweet it. That's the difference. Yeah. That's the Pepsi difference. If she just said it on your Facebook post, that'd be so that'd funny. Be yeah, yeah, funny. that's huge. That would be that awesome. It's like your dad sees it. You deserve like, the, the guillotine. That's a little more swag. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I do want to confess that was me. <laughs> I uh you were you Tumblr were just page. talking to a random girl on Facebook. That yeah. was me. That was my Tumblr. And you know what else is me is in me and the Patreon episode up next. The Patreon yeah. episode is not going to feature Ludwig. It's no. not going to. If have you're okay Ludwig. with that, if you're okay with that, come through. What if you're we, not okay with that, I want you to skip the Patreon. What do we want? In two cheesy gordita crunches. That's what you. What? That's your oh, last meal. meal. I like that. I hope you have fun in Nippon. I'm his Des. guy. You're him guy. And I'll I have you, fun in Nihongo. And, and, I you, and I hope you bring your big boots. And I don't think I will. You should bring them. But because they'll be powerful. I'm hoping to bring one backpack. Ugh. <laughs> it'd be so annoying if the person on the plane next to you was wearing those. No, it'd be funny. It'd be, like, it'd be funny if they made noises like SpongeBob's. <laughs> <laughs> like the old, uh, the BTS floor. If you oh wore the right God. shoes, you would sound like SpongeBob all day. Everyone's looking <laughs> at you all day. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the yarn. And see you later. We'll see you in the page. Goodbye forever, episode. Patreon. Bye. Goodbye. But we'll never be back. To He's calming very loudly. My volume is as loud as it can be, and I don't know what to say. I tuned you out. I did. I <laughs> no. <know>. Dude, you, <laughs> that you, was you the can't. most Aiden shit I've <laughs> ever heard. You cannot <laughs> expect someone to have your disease. Yeah, no, I have a, I have a brain disease. Why don't you have that? He oh, tunes out. Like you're talking to him, and he is literally just reading two words on a screen. It's unfair. I can only focus on one thing.